He'll touch you and make you Lord Jesus, thank you. We sing praises to your name. Praises to your name. Oh for your name is great and great. Sing praises to your name. Sing praises to your name. Blessed Jesus, we sing praises to your name. Praises to your name. For your name is great. Refuse to go back the same tonight. Everyone hearing me inside and outside, refuse to go back the same. Hallelujah. Refuse to go back the same. Do you know, yesterday, while I was praying, I literally felt like they put a load on me. And the Holy Spirit was telling me that this, this represents the problems and the issues that people are carrying. There are families here. There are people who have, some of you are here, only God can help you right now. Is that true? Hallelujah. One of the things that God kept emphasizing in my spirit is this issue of marital delay. God is going to be visiting people this night. That issue was a heavy, heavy burden in my spirit. Some of you will stand and be looking. This is the problem with believers. This is why they don't receive. When words come like this, this is, this is the time to forget about every other person and say, Lord, I'm alone with you. The Bible says, He, not them that dwell in the secret place. Hallelujah. And God is visiting families this night. Amen. The Lord told me this. So you're not just standing in for yourself. There are, there are age-long problems. Are you following me? Age-long problems. But tonight, darkness from in your oh let your hope rise don't give up you're in his presence let it, let it rise darkness will tremble in his presence God is visiting families this night let your faith rise tonight let it rise see things changing in your family as you're singing this song sounds of melody replacing sounds of cry what is it that God cannot do tonight one more time let hope rise one scripture and we'll go into the business of the night. This place is mightily charged. First John 3. Those of you outside, I like your faith to be so strong because while I prayed, the Lord showed me massive angelic activities outside. I saw this as I prayed this morning. Massive angelic activities. Hallelujah. 
First John 3 Zimala Capresta Bal Zimarianda La Moschia Zina Nana The B part I'd like you to get set for what you'll be doing Everything that was lost shall be restored unto you everything that was stolen shall be returned unto you i prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned the yes the canker worm has eaten everything that was stolen shall be restored Listen, the Bible says, believe the Lord and you shall be established. He said, but believe his prophets. Tonight, everything that was lost shall be restored unto you. This joy that was lost shall be returned unto you. This marriage that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Your health that was lost, it shall be returned, returned to you. The opportunity that was stolen shall be restored. I prophesy, help me. that have been lost dimensions of the spirit that you would have entered levels of wealth and prosperity levels of grace everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen do you believe this tonight? I know everything that was lost must be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. The promotion due your family members that would have saved your family trouble. The marriage that would have been. The children you would have had. Everything that was lost shall be returned return return press down shaken together running over hallelujah pick up your bibles mambredo shabala namakaria Yes, I will overturn, said the Spirit of God. I will overturn. I will overturn. I will overturn. I will overturn. Help me with the symbol. I will overturn. This is what the Spirit tells me. I will overturn. I will change. I will shift. I will change. I will shift. And you will know that I am God. I will overturn. I will change. I will shift, say the Spirit of God, I will overturn, I will overturn, I will change. Hallelujah. First John 3 verse 8. I'll read the A part and we'll read the B part together. He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. Ready to read? One to read. For this purpose, that he may, that he may, please look for another version. There are versions that say, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. In other words, he didn't come to play games. He didn't just come to play church jamborees. You know why I love the miracle service? We go straight to the point. We have three weeks of sitting and teaching. 
Miracle service is not a time of teaching. It's a demonstration of the superiority of light over darkness. Hallelujah. It says, for this purpose was the Son of made manifest. He said, I, I, I want that word destroyed. Any version that can change it. To liquidate, to annihilate, to put to an end the works of darkness. Let me tell you something. There is the handwriting of evil upon many lives, upon many destinies, upon many families. I say this all the time. The Bible says it is the thief, John 10 10. He gives Satan a name. He's not called your friend. He's called what? The thief. He cometh not. In other words, you will never see him manifest except to steal. Except to kill. That's why I was prophesying that what was stolen, things can be stolen. And to destroy. He said, but I am come. In other words, anytime you see me manifest, whether in a meeting, whether in a gathering like this, I am come that he may have life. The word life, there is not just eternal life, you know, from eternal, no. So where? Everything that comes with that life. Sozo, -so, healing, restoration, deliverance. Ah, the gate of hell will cry this night. Because somebody's destiny must change. Hallelujah. There are people coming all the way from Lagos. Scattered around parts of this country. You cannot come. God is not joking. The Bible says he has not called the seed of Jacob. There are whole families sitting inside and outside. Trusting God. Let me tell you tonight. This is one of those nights when you will not need to fight. You will just stand and see the Lord of Sabaoth. The battle is in yours, but mine. 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 The battle is in That's what God is telling you. Please fight over your family. It's no longer your fight this time. restored i don't care what the issue is are you listening to me tumors cancers blindness deafness lameness all kinds of demonic oppression hallelujah activities of wicked spirits that camouflage themselves and cause problem and catastrophe barrenness late marriage academic issues I don't care what it is the mistake the devil made was to allow you come upon this ground because there is a place called Mount Zion and many things happen there the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and when all the forces of darkness that attempt to hold on to that which God has declared that is yours are given way. You will enter experientially into the blessing. Hallelujah. Tonight, in one minute, I'd like you to pray. Pray. And tell yourself, Lord, this is my issue. Locate me tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Pray from your heart. Outside, make sure you're praying. God wants to visit people tonight. My father, wipe the tears of people. Wipe the tears of families. Let 
ancient gates and doors be lifted. Once again, let there be an enthroning. Sela makata bala la na 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 bala na na listen to me listen there are some of you that what will be happening to you I told you God is visiting families hallelujah God will set altars of darkness on fire there will be a separation the Bible says blotting out every handwriting don't tell me there are no handwritings you ask the bible says a hand came and wrote there are still hands writing and the bible says blotting out hallelujah god will be visiting people see let your heart be open tonight i know that there are people who are coming just to find out is this thing real or fake don't cheat yourself tonight because the Lord of glory is in this place. There are all kinds of people in this place. Open your heart and believe that the Lord is king and he will locate you. Refuse to be a spectator. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet everybody. We see the rain of your love. We feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear. We see the rain of your love. We feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear. So let it rain. Tonight let it rain Would you open the floodgates of heaven Father let it rain Let it rain Would you open the floodgates of heaven One more time let it rain For who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? Who has prophesied to you that your family must remain in this way? There is a blood that speaketh better things tonight than every ancestral blood of darkness. And I'm going to pray right now and take authority. I tell you the time has come enough is enough everybody shout enough is enough say one more time enough is enough outside i'm telling you what the lord shows me tonight there will be massive deliverances in this place hallelujah when we start we're just going to move fast so that we will conserve time Hallelujah. Those outside, lift your hands. Just the people outside. Those outside, lift your hands. At the count of three, the angels of deliverance will sweep across and ordinances of darkness. I like you to bring all the people. At the count of three, I like you to shout the name Jesus. Are you ready? Those outside, just the people outside. One, two, three. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The altars of Baal. We set altars of darkness. 
like a mighty rushing wind move the power of God is moving outside in a mighty way I set a place I set a place every power of darkness every spiritual wickedness every foul spirit I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus the power of God is moving outside the angel of the Lord moving outside God is shaking things outside. Shaking things. Shaking things. Shaking things. Every power of hell outside. Release God's people. The power of God is still moving outside. Those of you inside, lift up your hands. At the count of three, I like you to shout the name Jesus. Goodness, I see the angels of the Lord. And these are not the kinds of angels I see every miracle service. Hallelujah. There will be a shout, a healer, the instrumentalist. At the count of three, and the Spirit of God, on behalf of yourself and your family members. Are you ready at the count of three? One, two, three. Every demon spirit, every curse, every ordinary, bring them out.
Something will lead you tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord is releasing people from all kinds of bondages. The power of God is touching somebody outside. In a mighty way, somebody outside. A devil of darkness. You will let her go. Come out of her right now. Come out of her. Devil of darkness. Out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. It's against you tonight. Hallelujah. Girl, go now, foul devil of darkness. Come out of her. Out. You're free in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand up. Let this girl go now. Thou foul devil. In the name that is above all names. Out you go. Out now. Come out of her. Out of her. Please make sure everyone is connecting. This has nothing to do with falling down. God is visiting people. Just look at me. No, you don't need to come out. Just look at me. Look at me. Just keep your eyes looking at me. Let this girl go now. The foul devil of darkness. I come against you and against the infirmity. Of her. I just want us to flow. 
Tonight is your night of visitation. Hold my hand. Come out of her. God is going to visit this whole family. Hallelujah. Because I'm seeing the thing of darkness. This is what God is showing me. I didn't even know I was pointing to family members. Hallelujah. Mommy, let me pray for you. Because this is, this is a demonic thing. Trying to affect your health. Please hold my hands. Mommy, please. Look. Please, if you can shout Jesus as loud as you can. Can you? Just as loud as you can. Go ahead. Jesus! In the name that is above all names. Please lay one hand on your chest. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. This is a curse of marital delay. Let her go. Now! Thank you, Jesus. Come out of her. Out of her. Come out. You're free. Same thing. Come out of her right now. Devil of darkness. You're leaving. I see you in the spirit. You're going. It's time for this family to step into a new level. Be free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Any lump, lump in your breast, lump anywhere is going to live right now. Make sure you check yourself. Instant miracles of lumps. I, I saw it and the Lord told me it's time. I want to pray it right now. I told somebody to come out. I brought somebody from that room. Who is the person? I told that God will visit her. Not the woman. Do you know why I called you out? The Lord will wipe these tears that you're crying tonight. Are you listening to me? Just look at me. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Give her a new beginning, O oh God. Visit her family. I want to rebuke lumps right now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is, this is God is helping people. There are people you've had lumps, multiple lumps in your breast. It's going to disappear right now. Hallelujah. Maybe we'll have a few. Let me tell you something with this lady. You notice she's always coming out. I'll see her afterwards. A literal human being appears to sleep with this girl. This is what is responsible. This is, this, is, this is not just an issue of deliverance. This is an issue of help. This is a family thing. This is what the Lord is showing me. This is not just the devil coming. I mean, this is not in a dream. Uh -uh. You see, that's why whenever they come, these spirits leave her, but they don't go away. Early in the morning, they will reappear again. That's it. So, just, just let her be. God will set her free. Hallelujah. Are you ready, lumps? In the name of Jesus. Please, as soon as I pray for you, make sure you start checking yourself. Many of you will be shocked. It will look like magic. Maybe we'll take some testimonies here. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, every lump in your breast, 
or any part of your body your neck your waist wherever right now i command it to disappear in the name of jesus i command it to leave be healed right now be healed right now go ahead begin to check yourselves come bring that child can we have the mic please what's 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 this what's the issue help us with the mic please he has not been eating who brought him whose child is this where is his mother if we are calling your child mama please come let's save time huh they came all the way from Kano. Yes, I asked them to come. You rejoice because you will know you will meet God tonight. Amen. Please, somebody hold this child because you too. Come out of her. Out. Hold this child, please. You are the first to be visited. All the way from Kano. That devil. This woman is supposed to die before the end of the year. I curse this spirit. Out right now. Out of her with a loud shout you are going. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong with the child? He has not been eating. So we take him to the Why did he have all this abnormality? The so, doctors. Madam, look at me. You are delivered. I don't know what it is that runs through your leg, but I'm seeing light. Power of God. Hallelujah. What happened to your child? Talk to us, please. Let's save time. I gave back to him normal. It was normal when I gave back to him. Okay. So when he was four months. We discovered that the front was enlarging. So we went to hospital after the, the scanning. They said that there is water in the head. That water came. Water? Yes. That's hydrocephalus. So we need doctors. Who is the doctor here? They said he was going to undergo operation. Not student doctor. Eh? Okay, come. Thank you. Sir. What? They say hydrocephalus. What's that? Hydrocephalus is accumulation of water in, in the furnaces of the brain. Okay, what does it what does it lead to this? Yes. It will keep on enlarging until the capacity of the bone is able to contain it. So the bone itself will keep on enlarging and the sinuses, that is the sutures, will keep on expanding. Does it have a medical cure? Um, the only medical cure is to drain the water. But even as at that, I don't think it has a medical cure. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. That he might destroy the works of you. See, the Bible says from the beginning it was not so. This is nonsense. Are you listening to me? And our job is to bring everything back to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. This demonic, you did not create. Look at me. Come back. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Don't talk to her. She will come back. You will come back with a testimony. This child's head will start reducing. Are you hearing me? This child, it supernaturally, you will see it go back. Are you listening to me? Hold on, I know. I'm seeing a girl, baby girl. That was my first daughter. I lost her. Where is she? She's dead. She's dead. That's what I said. The spirit of death. You would have died before the end of the year because I'm seeing a baby girl. And then I didn't see her again. Where's your husband? He's in Kano. Get ready. A baby girl is coming again. Huh? Are you listening to me? Yes. I have three boys. I just gave birth. It was still a boy. I was not happy. That's what I'm telling you. Did, did you discuss this with me? Did you discuss this no, with me? Please, if I don't call any case, don't start bringing people I'm out. Please, you for the first please, time but let her come out. You. If we, if if we don't call cases, please, we are taking this. 
I'm, me I'm meeting you for the first time. That's what I'm saying. Knowing me is not important. It's the Lord Jesus Christ whom you know. He will come back here and give a testimony Amen. of a baby Amen. girl. Amen. All right? The flame of death. And tell your husband, where is he working? He worked with his school. He and then what happened? He's still working. He's still working there. Yes. That's not where he's supposed to be. Huh? We take him to the rightful place. Amen. Where God will bless him. Because this, this has been a financial challenge. This is issue of money. Yes. Yes. Is that true? Yes. But you people too are not very faithful in tithing. So you must have been faithful in tithing. Huh? Did you discuss it with me? No. You will tithe one today because of an emotional message. The only way God knows. You open the door for Satan. Hmm? Madam, you will go back with favor. Amen. I release upon you that grace for favor. You came with them. What's wrong with his ears? Uh, they took him to the hospital. He was. He he's was, still as a result. It's as a result of all of these things. He's connected. Don't worry. As God is taking him back, there will be complete restoration. Yeah. Hmm? Your son will not. You will come back here with testimonies. Yeah. Who are you? You know them, or you're from Kano too? My elder sister. Your elder sister. Yes, Tell sir. me one thing you want the Lord to do for you. To heal. Think you. well, not him. You. Don't just talk carelessly. I'm not. Not many people will have the opportunity to be asked this question. Let me tell you. To help my family with open doors of favor. Where's your father? My father is late. Where's your mother? Behind them. No, no, no. I'm not saying she should come out. Okay. She's sitting behind You are a student? Yeah. I finished my secondary school tonight, so I've been writing jams. This is what you would have asked. This is why I asked you. That's what I was praying for you. Eh? You have your relatives here, people who know you, who are also praying for you. Hold my hands. Get into the university in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever the problem is, we cancel it here right now. I don't care what it is. We admit you into any university of your choice in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your number one desire. God will locate your family. Bless you. Where is please? Who brought this woman? Please, if we don't call your case, we are going to we are going to deal with this. If not, we'll have this place very rowdy now. Who brought this woman? Oh, yeah, come now. Who brought her? No, no, don't worry, don't worry. What's wrong with her? Brain, brain. She lost her memory. She lost her memory. She's lost her memory. She doesn't know you now. Ah. What happened? Don't know. I'm just her house help. Oh, you are just her house help. Come and hug me. Look at this girl. Many house helps. This is the time to plunder and run away, Pastor. May God turn you from a house help to a great woman. This is your own blessing this night. Hallelujah. This is terrible. Thank you, Jesus. That devil of darkness, he will let this woman go. I bring you life. Life to these dead cells, dead brains. In the name of Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. You look at me. Just look at me. Just look at me. Just try to look at me. Come back, <laughs> miracle. Find somewhere and keep this noise again. Sweetheart, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody brought somebody brought a very sick person. I'm seeing who 
will pray for them, but the Lord is showing me you brought somebody. Is it a sick person? Who is that person? Inside or outside? Please, let's save time more. God really wants to visit people and we don't want to waste unnecessary time here. He will come back with testimonies for this woman. It's terrible. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone. You literally feel as though they put pepper in your eyes. When you look at light like this, it burns you seriously. This thing started this year. Who is that person, please? Who is that person? Who is that person? Oh. Is she the okay? Come. Who brought her? Mama? Does she, can I speak English or does she want answer? Come now. Why are you afraid? Huh? What's, what's the issue? Diabetes. Diabetes. It's affecting her eyes. I will pray for her. Tell her I will pray for her and the Lord will heal her. Is she hearing? Is she here? Mama, I will pray for you right now. This is a spirit. Be healed of diabetes right now. I come against that foul spirit. Check herself. Find out that there's no diabetes again. You, you came for yourself. What's wrong with you? Um, it's not that I'm sick. Okay. I need marriage and. You want to get married? Go straight to the point. Look, let me tell you something. If we ask you to come out here and we and you are just talking stories, you go back to your seat. Praise God. This is this is a family. Nobody is against marriage here. Is that true? If you came here for marriage, when we are praying, receive it. Don't say my neighbor will look. You don't want to get married. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Did you hear the testimonies of the marriage? Sir? The marriage yes, testimonies. Yes, Do you believe God is still at work in this place? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. Are you in a relationship? You need to be delivered first before marriage. Hmm? I release you from this curse. This is what has been holding her back. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. We will come back with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for supernatural marriages. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Some of you will need to outside. Are you, can you hear me outside? You can stand for yourself or for your family members. I want to pray. Make sure the person you want to get married to is of the opposite sex. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Please believe the Lord. Because one of the things that has been happening in this place is supernatural inexplainable the hand of god lift your hands in the name that is above all names 
Now, there are some of you, as I pray, you see, some of you, what is stopping you is the hand of darkness. For a few people, not everybody, because I'm seeing spirits, the moment I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, the hand of God will come upon some people. Hallelujah. It will come upon them in a mighty way. That's what is stopping the marriage. Lift your hands. Not everybody you can receive, but there are some people, this is what they need. Hallelujah. When I say in the name of Jesus, I just want you to shout, I receive. The moment you say that God will visit some people, I see God touching two ladies outside on this. This, this marriage thing, we must deal with it this night. How many of you believe it? In the mighty name of Jesus. Now that devil of darkness that is responsible for delay in marriages. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. That devil of darkness that is responsible. The power of God is falling. That devil. There are spirits that are responsible for delay. Come out. 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 These are demon spirits. Out in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Marital delay. The Lord rebuke you. I tell you, God is setting people free. Marital delay as is happening. Marital delay. Marital delay is a yoke of bondage outside. The fire of God is visiting a few people. All those above 30, 30 and above who have not gotten married, ladies, let God visit you now. I release that fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Let there be testimonies of supernatural marriages. This role. I see an angel standing there is one lady the power of God will come upon you strong that devil of darkness enough is enough just this row because I see the angel of the Lord standing Lord let that person come out the Holy Ghost will bring you out you will come out you will come out you will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost leave her alone she will come out no. Hallelujah. I want to curse barrenness. Are you listening to me? Now is the time to stand for your loved ones, for yourself. Some of you lived all kinds of reckless past lives. As you are standing now, you may not even have a womb. A new one will come upon you. So when God forgives sins, He forgives consequences. I don't care what the biological complication is. I like you to receive. You will come back with testimonies. Hallelujah. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That curse of childlessness. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. I set you free. I set your loved ones free. I set you free. Any barren person in this place, any barren family in this place, ma ta 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 ta, re ke te te te, re ke te te te, re ke bo shoto, ba toko bo teke, re ke te bo soko toba, le ke bo yata, ma re ke te 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 te, e ke bo ro ko pakata.
You will come back with miracle children. You will come back with miracle children. Your loved ones will come back with miracle children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a few people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is showing me some people. You've been so you are an adult, but you don't know what happens. You've been suffering from bedwetting. You wake up in the morning and you find out that you are easing yourself on your bed. There's, no, there's nothing to be embarrassed. About. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are that kind of person. Come and stand out here quickly. Forget about who is watching you. Nobody has that time. Let me tell you. There are people like that, a devil of darkness. Inside and outside. This is a this is a demonic issue. There are people, oh there are people. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. It's a spirit. It's not just about discipline. You can't stop it with discipline. I don't know why God is visiting that situation. Hallelujah. Let's take the next case. I'm seeing problems with your heart. Whether hole in your heart or any form of asthmatic condition. Please come out quickly. Hole in your heart or asthmatic condition. Please let's save time. That devil is a liar. I've, I had an accident. After the accident, they said my heart will enlarge and there is an uh, infection. It will, it will go back. Amen. Be free right now. Amen. Heart, return to your normal condition. Infection, go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. As I lay hands on you, whatever the issue is, you will be healed of it. Whether heart, asthma, be free right now. Please make sure you are coming out for the case we are mentioning. What are you coming out for? A hole in my heart. Always, ever since I saw it from Osa. After Did the doctors surgery. tell you? Yes. After the treatment. The ulcer that's been disturbing me, but it's just for a while. But that whole sister, come, God will visit you. This has nothing to do with ulcer. Hmm? Where's your you have an elder sister? Yes, where is she? She's in Abuja. Is she married? Yes, what was yes. she doing? She's married, but the first child she gave birth to it has been a problematic child. But this is six years now. She has not stepped her feet on the on the ground, and she has not started talking. And Let all this why she has not given birth at all. Lay one hand on your chest. See, whatever is happening to one person here is happening to you too. Are you listening to me? You must believe it. This lady with yellow. That lady, you, 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 no, no, don't come out. Just lift your hands where you are. Both of your hands now, are you pledging? Look at me. Father, visit this girl. The Lord is showing me something about her. Lord, visit this lady. Set her free. Jesus. 
It's like a mighty rushing wind. That spirit will not stand. It's looking like a knife is going through you. Set her free, Lord. What's wrong with you? Lay your hands there. Since when? Just lay your hands and look at me. Don't worry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart. Okay, just hold my hands as I pray for you. You'll be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Come. You love God very well. What of you is not true. How true is it? <laughs> eh? Shall we see how true it is? Don't be sitting. I break this addiction from your life. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Why did you say it's true? You do. Let it not corrupt your Christian testimony. God is not just visiting you, but your family. You are in for it with God this night because this is multiple. Some families have put some people in trouble they don't know. Parents in their innocence have gone to do things in a bit to try to help the be healed, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be made whole, be free. This is what is happening. This thing is all the way from Lagos. This is God setting this lady free. Sometimes we do things, parents be careful. You go to places and do things believing you are helping your children. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ because God wants to use you in the mighty healing ministry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. My brother, God is calling you this night. When I make the altar call, before I finish, just run and come and stand here. Right? This is your night. Eh? There is no issue of running to God and then... God brought you because we love you. Okay? You deserve You deserve You deserve The lifting of my You deserve Just walk with me. You deserve. Don't be looking at me. Don't worry. what this means this is confusion 
and this is why God is telling me this is how your life is that's why I held you and I was walking God wants to set you free from serious confusion you are easily deceived anybody can tell you anything and that's why I was moving around this does not this is confusion you get easily deceived anybody just say anything and you believe can I pray for you hold my hands both of your hands Satan, it's time up for you with this lady. Foul spirit. You will let this lady go. Release her. You can't stand it. I've seen you in the spirit. God is against you. This demonic thing must leave you. So pakapata. Reketebola kuso strong heart Bible says be wise as serpents what are you here for my sister oh while you were praying you saw yourself on the ground he decided to come and report yourself <laughs> what do you think God is doing Just stretch your hands like you're receiving something. Look at me. Truly, you will receive something. Just look at me. Suddenly, you become heavy because you are receiving spiritual things. <laughs> you can't hold it. It's too heavy for you. For you and for all your family members, may God visit you. God is not done with you. There is a fire that will burn you. The same thing will be happening to your family members. You need to be free. You love God, but there are all kinds of encumbrances. This night, this one is not just deliverance. This one is God catching you finally for Him. Lord, take over her whole life from head to toe. Take over everything over in this lady's life. Cares, go! Cares, go! Cares, go! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I want to pray Just leave her out because she's not recovering soon. This one is not just deliverance. God is taking, I have found my servant David. This is what is happening. When God finds a man, he doesn't leave you easily. He makes sure that you rise up with a hunger that nothing else. I trust God that this will happen to many people in this place tonight. Because I tell you, Pastor, a lot of people are in certain situations because they love God but they have cares. So they, are, they, are, they easily become praise. It's not enough to, to be healed or to be delivered. Your heart must be with God for you to walk in sustainable victory. Many people like miracle service. They just run and come and take a miracle and then they run away. But let me tell you something. Your heart, come sister. Unto him, come. Who sits on the throne. Let God find you today. Are you hearing me? To Jesus, the Lamb who was slain. Hold my hand. Father, find a vessel in this lady. Do with her what only you can do. Ignite a fire in her spirit. Even as you have revealed to me, let this lady have a, a passion that cannot be quantified. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual weakness leaves you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
the lamb who was slain. The Lord is healing my grain headache. The Lord is healing my grain headache. My grain headache. Intense. My grain headache. Where's my neighbor? Is she here? She, she didn't come. Please come. Tonight the Lord is going to visit you. See, many of you don't know that there's something called the season of God's visitation. Who is precious here? Precious. You are precious. Your real name, old one, precious. Make sure it's the name your father gave you, not the one you gave yourself. This night, say I must be precious. God, you must visit me. Many people threaten me with text messages during the miracles. I say, see, God must visit me. Hallelujah. Lord is visiting you. Hold my hands. This demon of marital delay is going. You will go to a real deliverance, right? Come out! Come out of her! Sata Kabalada Bokosia. The fire of God is burning your whole body from head to toe. It's a foul spirit. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. It, I'm announcing it this night. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. That foul devil, come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Of her. Come out, of her. Come out. Come out of her. Come out, you foul spirit. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted. This is a snake. Look at, look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing? Look at, look at this. This is what is responsible. Come out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Just leave her. I cannot stand. It's going. Now, foul devil, you will release her. There is no hiding. The power of God is against you. You will go and return no more. And as you are going, I call forth your husband, not a man. Your husband. Your husband. Precious. All of you. All of you have... No, 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 I didn't ask my grain to come out. But since you came out, may God visit you. You have an elder brother? Where is he? He's in Abuja. Doing what? He's, no, he's doing nothing. He went for holidays. Which holiday? He went to Hosu. Tell him to come back. This is what happens to people. They, they just believe that bread is in Abuja. Let me tell you. If some of you want to run, you want to fake visa and run to Germany. Can I tell you something? The Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. Because some of you are already planning. You just believe. You say you are running. Where to say greener pastures? The Bible says he makes me lie down in the green pastures is the presence of God. Don't feel embarrassed. Okay? May the Lord visit you and visit your brother in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be a great teacher of the word. Huh? You will be a great teacher of the word. Something like light will hit your eyes right now and God will give you the spirit of revelation. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Open his eyes. Open his eyes.
his eyes. You will be rich, oh. Because you have suffered, you will be rich. And look at me, I'm not just, this is not entertainment. I'm telling you the word of the Lord. Huh? Never forget the house of God, but you will be mightily blessed. How it will happen, we will make people think you went to diabolic, you went and did diabolic things. May the Lord bring this to pass. You will see it happen. Some of you don't know that God will use you more than you have planned. You just think you will just be passive in the house of God and not do anything. No way. God knows how to get you. He will bring you for miracle service quietly. While you are thinking fashion and business and this... God is thinking fashion plus ministry. It's not just fashion, oh my dear. And beauty makeup is, is, is a serious call. Your name is Precious. Where's your mother? Where? Do you believe God wants to visit your family? Yes. Tell your mother to forgive everybody that has done whatever. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Who offended her? It was one of our uncles. She said, Abba. To her, she said that he, she used to tell us as our children that, that he maltreated This her. thing, since when she was small, when till now, small. this is what is stopping her breakthrough. Did you discuss this with me? No. Let her forgive, please. For as long as you keep somebody down, part of you will still be down. Is that true? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. All those who are called into the worship ministry, please, listen. If you come out here, I, I don't mean you like singing or you have a passion. No, I, I like singing. I'm not called into the worship ministry. You get my point? Please, don't be emotional about it about it come and line up here quickly quickly god wants to visit people i don't know why worship ministry will be alive to see you if after this prayer worship ministry ah. please think about it oh <laughs> see the worship ministry is not a hobby Blessed is he. If there's no space, just stand where you are because fire, there's going to be a restoration of the Davidic order of worship. Believe it. I'm going to stand. Listen, as I walk around this place, the power and this is fire that will come. It will catch many of you in a mighty way. Lord Jesus, as I begin to take it, take it right now, take it, fall, fall, take it, take it, take the fire, 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 take the fire. Take the fire. The Davidic order of worship. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Shaka baladabataka. Sing like angels. Receive it. It's coming on you. Lift up your hands, all of you that came to the front. My God, let it fall right now. My God, let it fall right now. To those standing at the door, let it fall, 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 take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, healing anointings, not corporosa time. Take it, make sure you are receiving it. Right 
songs many of you will hear songs in your spirit new songs psalms hymns spiritual songs psalms hymns spiritual songs receive it psalms hymns spiritual songs songs of power songs of light songs of grace songs of healing Listen. consecration is the key consecration is the key to a life of true worship consecration thank God for the music dimension but consecration is the key to a genuine life you want to stand some of you are already looking for money if this is your ambition you will not get this Davidic anointing it doesn't happen that way your heart must pant after God and after his kingdom you must stay in the place of training until he builds you Oh, let it fall. Yes, Lord, let it fall. Let it fall. As it were in the days of Jehoshaphat. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Dimensions. Lord, release it from the east side of the temple. Let there be a releasing. Songs of power. Songs of the spirit. Hallelujah. So that we will do mighty things for our God. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. Thank you, Jesus. Did you bring prayer requests? Please pass them quickly. Now, all those who are sick inside and outside please i'd like you to come out quickly while this is happening be passing the prayer request please let's save time do it quickly mighty things are happening in this place please don't be in a rush this night because what god wants to do he has not finished Please, you are sick. Come out, just ushers help and line them up. Please, please, quickly, quickly. This is a miracle service. As you come and stand, trust God for your miracle, trust God for your healing. Please, if you are doubting, just go back to your seat. Anybody who is, please play the instruments. Anybody, mic, music director, whoever. Those of you. Those of you stay, make sure you are praying for them. As I lay my hands on you, I want to assure you, please believe God for real miracles. Some of you as you are standing, because there is a healing river, as you are standing, you can't stand that majestic healing presence of the Holy Spirit. The majestic presence as we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch, help me, Pastor. Please help me with your mic. Is flowing, Jesus. We Make sure you pass Jesus. your prayer request. I tell you, there is a there healing is river. Healing your there is a day. healing river. Hey. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. Hey. 
Holy Spirit, gentle touch is flowing. The moment Jesus. I pray for you, begin to check yourself. Jesus, we believe. Jesus, there is healing in your name. Almighty Father.
one of the biggest miracles that will happen in this place tonight many of you don't know what a breakthrough is the bible says and abraham was old and stricken in age 
and God had blessed him in all things. This is what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Please, if you have not submitted your request, let me tell you where we got the revelation of this. The Bible says, and they sent a threat letter to Hezekiah. Remember? And the Bible says, Hezekiah took the letter and came and dropped it on the altar and showed God the threatenings. And when that happened, there was wisdom that was revealed and they strategized worshippers and the Bible says that they began to fight themselves in the camp. You will see a lot of confusion as we begin to pray for this thing. I don't mean confusion here. Confusion in the camp of the enemy. Whatever request you brought in this place, I really want, many of you don't know what God is doing this night. God is setting people on fire. We have a few minutes remaining. But God will visit you. We want you to come back with evidences that God touched you. See, when you get results, it's a consolation to your Christian work. Are you listening to me? Those outside, look at some of you standing. Standing right across, I see you. God cannot allow you to go back the same way. It's impossible. You didn't come to meet an idol. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet, everybody. It's a very prophetic moment right now. As we pray, I'd like to ask the ministers, Pastor Williams. Pastor. So. Please, if you've not written your request, drop it. God is doing great things in this place. As we begin to pray on this request, Pastor. Hallelujah. Pray along with us, prophesy. Stretch your hands and pray. Tell the Lord, this is my request, O Lord. This is my request. Father, locate people. Locate people, oh God. Locate cases. There are, there are difficult cases. Cases of barrenness. Deliverances for families. Lord, this is an altar you have sanctified. In one accord we pray. Just lay your hands across it as we release the virtue of perfection. Total breakthroughs. Academic breakthroughs. Make sure you are praying. Say, Lord, my request in this is in this place. Locate it. Those online, we are connecting with them also in the spirit. Those following us on all of our online channels. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Release breakthroughs to families. We sanctify these requests. These Egyptians will never be seen in families and lives again change stories oh god hallelujah Omnipotent Father, Lord God of mercy and grace, the God who says a thing and accomplishes in the life of his children, the I am that I am, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Who is there like unto you? You are greater than the greatest. You are stronger than the strongest. You are mightier than the mightiest. You are the one who sits in the heavens and you made the earth your full stool. You are great. You are greatly to be praised. We thank you because of this opportunity that you have given unto us, O oh God, to bring down our needs 
our supplication, our request unto your feet. You said in your word that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly far above all we ever ask, think, or imagine according to the power that is at work within us. We thank you, O oh God, because we know that every need that has been penned down, every request that has been written down, you have already seen it. You have already seen it. And because you have seen it, we thank you because this, this request has seen by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we see you doing great things in this place tonight. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for the testimonies that are coming out from this pen down written notes. We thank you for the testimonies coming out from this. In the name of Jesus, we bless you because we know that we will come here next time to give you thanks of what you have done. Thank you Lord because every need every need every need here they are met Amen. we give you thanks Thank you, Lord we give you thanks we give you thanks we give you thanks we give you thanks oh god we give you thanks lord we give you thanks we give you praise for we know that all things work together for our good. We give you thanks. We give you praise. For by faith we know your grace. We see us. Praise the Lord. My God, as I pray, you gave me an anointing to bless, an anointing to release. Father, as many people as are in this place, inside and outside, they came here home. And Lord, as I speak on behalf of the government of heaven, let these words be so effectual. Let these words be fervent. Respond, O oh God. Every word I declare, let there be testimonies that will return. Every word that I'm about to declare to you, when I pray, I like you to shout Amen with all your heart. Because I sense a very strong prophetic anointing coming upon me. I really want to speak from the depths of my heart. I don't just want you to believe it. I want you to return. The Bible says, and the 70 returned rejoicing. Hallelujah. I want to pray for families. Lift your hands. Let's start with families right now. Please, I'd like you to shout amen with all your heart. Hallelujah. Every family represented in this place, every family, any curse, any ordinance of darkness, every yoke of bondage, afflicting any family i set you free now in the name of jesus i set families free now in the name of jesus i set families free now in the name of jesus i set families free now in the name of jesus, name of jesus. father mother brothers sisters be free be free, be free, be free, be free, be free, be free. Oh, you will come back with testimonies. Any 
anyone here whether you or your family members looking for a job in the mighty name that is above all names between today and the next 40 days I place a demand upon the heavens. Receive miracle jobs. Receive miracle jobs. Receive miracle jobs for you, for your loved ones. probation you are trusting the hand whatever it is you are doing your project things are difficult whatever academic issue tonight in the name of the lord god of israel the one who does wonders in this place i declare step into a season of academic victory step into a season of academic victory i release you from any kind of bondage I release you any kind of academic bondage be free be free be free hallelujah all those who are due for marriage whether you or your love your loved ones see let me tell you in this place once you are of marriageable age, you must marry. Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? What did I say? Right. Hallelujah. Somebody married, that's why you are here. You must marry. Praise God. Are you listening to me? Right now, I speak as a servant of the living God. I've prayed about it, but I will pray again. I pray. Some of you, you are a lady, you are pretty. But no man can come around. This is a curse. Tonight I pray that your wives and your husbands, those of you who, are, who have concubines and etc. When I make the altar call, run out here. Because this is what will stop you. You are entitled to only one wife. Say amen. You are entitled to only one husband. Say amen. The spirit of double dating dies here tonight. Leave another sister's husband to locate her husband. Leave another brother's wife to locate him. But I pray in the name of Jesus, before the end of this year, may there be fearful or inspiring Miracle marriage. Take it. Take it. God told me that Bavia, before December 31st, 2013, come back with testimonies for yourself, for your loved ones. We supply the resources. We supply the grace. Disease in this place, 
HIV, whatever it is. Hallelujah. Infections, all kinds of satanic names. I declare right now. We curse it from the root in the name of Jesus. Anyone here whose genotype is SS or AS in the name that is above all names, be changed, be changed to AA. I change it in the name of the Lord. Receive it. Receive a change of genotype. You will come back with testimonies. Believe it. Receive it. Everything he made, he made it beautiful. Any kind of demonic dreams and oppressions of darkness. Some of you see people sleep with you. Some of you see all kinds of demonic things. Molestations of darkness. I pray right now. The last time you had that dream or that experience, let it be the last time forever in your life. I said, let it be the last time forever. Let it be the last time forever. Satan, I curse you. I curse every foul spirit. who are students and are in final year I declare those who need the mercy of God for their graduation I pray right now let policies be changed let something happen in your faculty that has never happened we release you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah I want to prophesy restoration Whatever it is that you have lost, whether as a result of your past or mistakes, opportunities, graces, I pray that the God who regulates times and seasons, let that season come back to your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every lecturer in this place, or those who your parents are lecturers stand for them i want to speak there are lecturers whose promotions are overdue is that true is that true in the name that is above all names this night we command even offices that are not available we create it for them this night in the name of jesus the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon king sent for joseph tonight i connect you with supernatural destiny helpers that will take you from where you are to the next level i connect you i call for the helpers of your destiny financial helpers marital helpers career helpers spiritual helpers receive their ministry in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray any project anyone is doing here, whether you or your whether building project, whatever it is for you and for your families, you are building a three bedroom flat that has taken over ten years. This is a curse. I pray right now in the name of Jesus let there be supernatural supplies the beds that brought food for the prophet I command may they locate your family I open up the heavens over your family in the name of Jesus hallelujah Hallelujah. One of the things God is doing in this season is preparing people for dimensions of prosperity that will scare people. Hallelujah. God is seriously looking for men who he will trust. These men will not just get well, they will be trained. 
the first thing you need is the staying grace the school is not easy let me tell you the truth but happy are you when you pass through it because you will command wealth that will make you afraid i pray for you every curse of poverty and lack there are some of you who are kingdom financiers the power of god will come upon you kingdom financiers kingdom financiers kingdom financiers kingdom financiers now i pray for everyone this cause of poverty that is upon many lives and families that has closed the heaven over many people in the name of the lord jesus this night by the sure mercies of the god of david i command your heavens to be open i command your financial heavens be open be open be open be open be open be open that bring prosperity favor and wisdom hallelujah money comes through favor it is preserved through wisdom the bible says through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing i pray let your hands receive wealth that only god can give inexplainable but undeniable receive it in the name of Jesus <laughs> let me tell you brothers it is not by power when it comes to prosperity it is not by might it's by the Spirit of God hallelujah two more things and we're up I want to pray for favor this is one of the things we enjoy in abundance hallelujah I cannot tell you how the favor of God works no man can explain it but I know it works I know it works I am a testament if you believe I want you to believe many of you, you you are used to suffering you don't know what the favor of God can do some of our family members what you need is the favor of God the Bible says in Isaiah 44 verse 3 said they got not into their land they got not the land by their possessions neither did their arms save them but because you had you showed favor towards them please believe one encounter of favor i tell you it can it can it can keep you in a position for a lifetime believe it there is something called divine favor what you see today is the evidence we have never paid a time for this venue the last miracle service i still don't know who paid for the venue this is the favor of god i want you to believe it if you want to work for everything in your life get set to die hallelujah lift your hands let me pray for you favor for many of you to come on you this is what you need i'm telling you this is what you need families what you need is favor not stories my god my god I pray in the name of Jesus the favor that is upon koinonia I take it and I release it to your life take it now take it now take it now take it now, take it now. I activate favor 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 with God favor with man favor receive it Favor. Koinonia is called the place of intimacy and partnership with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You cannot come here tonight 
and not be on fire for God. You cannot be here tonight and not be on fire for the things of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to release grace that your spiritual life will stand strong and solid. Many of you, your prayer altars are dead. It's not because you don't love God. Hallelujah. Many of you, one leg in, one leg out. Last year you were on fire this year. Hallelujah. Many of our mothers, fathers, people at home, our prayer life, our word life, we are looking for things that only the word of God can give us. But Jesus said to Martha, he said, one thing is needful. One thing. One thing. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Alongside with this, I want to pray for the distribution of the gifts of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Paul said, I long to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. A powerless Christianity, and I'm not talking of just falling out. Christianity with results. Christianity with proofs. We have too many talkatives in the body of Christ. Inside or outside. Some of you have been crying and said, Lord, can't my life not have proofs? Can't the sick be healed through my hands too? Can I not bless people and it will work for them? Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. I consider it to be an all-important impartation. Please get ready because it will come upon you. Different kinds of gifts of the Spirit. Stirrings of the Spirit. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. At the shout of that name, some of you will, will be set on fire, literally. So that your spiritual life will be hot. So that God will use you and do wonders. Are you ready? Shout it with all your heart at the count of three. One. Two. Three. Take it. God of knowledge. Take it. Gifts of wisdom. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Inside and outside. The gifts of prophecy. Of tongues, receive it. I set your prayer life on fire. I set your prayer life on fire. Let the spirit of revelation fall. Spirit of revelation, the teaching anointing, leadership anointing. Take it. Take it. Take it. Leadership anointing. Jesus. Leadership anointing. Jesus. Press to fast. Press to pray. Jesus. Press to say no. Enjoy in this house. May it be part of your life from today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I release entrepreneurial ideas. Say, Potopata. There is a spirit. Listen. I take from the abundance of grace that God has given me entrepreneurial ideas that will raise financial giants. Lift your hands, everybody. In the mighty name of Jesus, take it, take it, take it, take it. Jesus. Take it.
Hallelujah. May your life be a fruitful life. May your life be a fruitful life. Amen. May your life be a fruitful life. Amen. May God bring results to your life. Amen. To be a consolation to your Christian work. Amen. Any life that has not been experiencing results. That you have never testified. May this be your month. Any life that has not been experiencing results. May this be your month. Do you believe this? Hallelujah. I want to give you an opportunity inside and outside. If you've never given your heart to the Lord, please keep standing everybody. You've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me. Inside and outside, you are hearing my voice right now. You have seen the works of the Lord. It's time for you to get into a real relationship with God. Or for some of you, you have given your heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. But you found yourself derailing. Inside and outside, the Lord is speaking to you. Mother, father, whoever. I want you to leave your seat and come out here right now. I want to lead you and reconnect you back to the king of kings. The lover of your life. Inside and outside. Right now, leave your seat and come. Koinonia, appreciate them as they come. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. They are coming. God bless you. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Outside. Don't let the devil stop you. Mother, father, whoever. Yes. It's time to surrender. Surrender. Appreciate them. It doesn't matter what your past is. God can give you a new beginning. Don't allow the person you came with to stop you. This is the greatest miracle. Another Jesus. I give Keep clapping. Keep clapping. They are still coming. The Holy Ghost is convicting them. Inside and outside. Thank you, Jesus. We will connect you to the maker of your life. I surrender more. Thank you, Jesus. On to be my God bless you, sister. God bless you, brother. And I surrender. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to celebrate you for your bold decision for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People close their eyes when they are about to get born again and see what they are doing is wrong. This is the greatest miracle. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that we celebrate you. Some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. Others have given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. I want to pray for you. The Lord loves you and he wants to make meaning out of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I'd like you to say after me and mean it from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I thank you for dying for my sins. This night, I believe that Jesus is Savior and Lord. And I accept him. My name is in the book of life. I declare that I'm saved. The Holy Spirit is in me. Eternal life is mine. From today, I denounce sin and Satan and every past life. And I receive grace to live a victorious Christian life. My sins are washed away. It's a new beginning for me. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your spirit. You brought them to bless. You brought them to reconnect them to the maker of their lives. My God, I pray that their salvation will last. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you do mighty things through their lives. I pray that many destinies will be blessed. 
the reason and the purpose for which they came to the earth let it be discovered and maximized in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray that every encumbrance everything that keeps you in the path that is not of god you are free for me today there is grace for you you will enjoy a victorious fellowship with the holy spirit in the name of the lord jesus hallelujah praise the lord we celebrate you please i'd like you to follow the ushers they'll have your details and we'll send you a text and get across to you pastor jakes is not around but we'll send we'll make arrangements and i'll be there by god's grace to see you god bless you please tomorrow together with them all those who have not received the baptism of the holy spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues six on the dot please be at the chapel i will be there to minister to you hallelujah six on the dot be at the chapel hallelujah praise the lord please rise up we're closing thank you for waiting this long all those who are worshiping with us for the first time inside and outside we love you and we believe god brought you here to bless you i'd like you to jump on your feet and rush out here quickly celebrate them koinonia if this is your first time please inside and outside you are special we have a prayer for you god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you all those who invited them i pray that every good thing will come into your life in the name of jesus god bless you god bless you keep clapping they are still coming thank you thank you sas thank you mark thank you thank you keep clapping until they come they are special to us they are the evidence that god is at work in this place can we rise up on our feet lord we bless you give him praise we give you all the glory we worship you you are worthy family can we just lift up our hands and say lord we thank you we bless you inside and outside lift up your hands as we worship lord we give you praise you have done great things great things in our midst thank him for the miracles thank him for the manifestation of his word thank him for salvation Lord, we give you praise. We come with grateful hearts. We give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For those of you who have been here for a while you understand that we are a grateful people hallelujah we'll never forget his benefits hallelujah psalm 103 says bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his name said bless the lord oh my soul and forget not his benefits who forgiveth our sins who healeth our diseases and delivereth us from destruction and so Every time we come before his presence, it's good to just worship him and to give him praise for life, for health, for his word, access to his word. Hallelujah. Said the entrance of thy word, give it light. Life, understanding, even unto the simple. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless you. 
thank you because tonight you will do great things in our midst we have come for koinonia a time of intimacy we pray that you speak from the throne and cause that our ears hear the voice of our king in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise god just walk up to 20 people tell them it's good to see you again your presence gives me hope that we are coming come on walk up to 20 people inside and outside don't be antisocial it's part of koinonia That's all right you can go back to your seat i appreciate the lord the bible says a merry heart do it good like medicine please be seated hallelujah we are so grateful for the things that god is doing in our midst hallelujah God is doing great and awesome things. We've been celebrating the wonder-working power of God in our midst. Hallelujah. And the transforming power of His Word. We thank Him for the opportunity to receive from Him again. Hallelujah. We've been taking a series on the kingdom. And... Um, angels still speak. hallelujah where people who believe in the realm of the spirit and the operation of spirit beings the bible says here yeah, come to mount zion and it lets us know we are not alone hallelujah three days ago a friend of mine called me early in the morning and um she said josh i need to talk to you and i said okay what's, what's what's wrong and she said i had a dream and i got a song from that dream and i want to share it with you i said really and she said it was a dream i was ministering somewhere and she was not even in the ground where the meeting was and she heard the song it was a powerful song from the spirit and she heard my voice i was singing it and um it was so powerful according to her description she said the place was so charged there were all kinds of miracles people repenting opening up their hearts to the lord and um, when she woke up she came with a song and i want to teach us the song very powerful it's our culture to receive heavenly songs and communicate them hallelujah because we are a family hallelujah so we're going to sing the song i like you to receive it in your spirit many of you just like new songs thank god for the next one no 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 no. you see god gives songs to announce seasons hallelujah jewish songs were used to announce seasons so when you heard a jew sing it would give you an understanding of the seasons that they were in if it was a passover they had songs if it was the day of atonement called yom kippur they had songs that they would sing and so I believe that this song came prophetically, coinciding with the great things that God is doing in this season. Hallelujah. Very powerful song. The song is a revelation of uh, Matthew 21, the triumphant entry of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just listen and let it bless your heart. Are you ready, people? Hallelujah. Holy, holy. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. There's a part that says Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. 
the Saddie Sea. Who comes in the name of our God? Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Worshippers, can you help me? Holy. Oh, holy. Just listen to the song and let it enter your spirit. On a detail, we didn't change it exactly as it came from the realm of the spirit. In the name of our God. Sing holy. Holy. Oh, holy. Blessed is he who comes in the name. Can we try it now? The whole congregation, holy. Can you sing it? Oh, holy, holy. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, 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 yeah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Let's just have the worshippers sing holy. Just the worshippers. Help me worship us. Holy, holy, blessed is He. It was a triumphant entry. In the name of our God, He rode upon an ass that no man had sat on. And every time I believe that this song comes. The season God is announcing to us that it's a season, a triumphant end, riding upon a horse, and that's why we are joining him to sing Hosanna. We are saying Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. One more time, Hosanna, Hosanna. Can we rise up on our feet to just sing it one more time? Holy, holy now, come on, let's raise up our voices and sing. Holy, 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 a family of faith we understand what you are communicating and we release our spirits 
Lord, we align with the heavens. You have brought this song from the realm of the spirit on a detail to confirm a season that you are bringing us into. Lord, indeed we declare, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. In one minute, just say, Lord, I receive. I connect my spirit with the revelation of this song. A triumphant entry into our destinies, into the new levels of grace, new levels of his spirit. Oh, let it be done on earth as it is in the heavens. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, we hear your voice and we yield our spirits. Like Samuel before the ark, we declare, speak for we are listening. We have ears to hear that which you communicate unto us in the secret. Lord, we are ready to declare it as ambassadors upon the mountaintop. We open up our spirits for this season of triumphant entry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, friends, let me tell you something. The Bible says the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear Him. And He will show them His covenants. When you make God's ways your way, He will communicate to you the things of the Spirit. So that you will align yourself in this realm with what is happening in the Spirit. That's the secret of success. That's the secret of increase. That's the secret of impact. That it be done on earth as it is in the heavens. Until you understand the operation of the heavens, you have no right to do anything on the earth. And it's our job here at Koinonia to listen. Habakkuk chapter 2 says, I will stand upon the watch, my watch, and set myself upon the tower. And I will see what the Lord will say. The Bible says, what I show you in the secret, declare thou on the mountain top and it's our job to rest our ears on the heart of the father to hear what he's communicating for every season god is preparing us training us fashioning us by his spirit to make us relevant even in this time and in this season and hear me friends if you found your way into this place i'd like you to know that god brought you by his spirit to build to equip to empower you he said, rule thou in the midst of thy enemies. It takes understanding. He said, he made many lights, but he made two great lights. One light to rule in the day and another light to rule in the night. If you don't have that light, you cannot rule in the day and you cannot rule in the night. There is a dimension of light that grants you access even in the night so that you rule. And God is communicating these lights and these truths unto us. And Father, we thank you. It's a privilege and we respect it we don't just believe in you we respect you thank you father in the name of jesus god bless you please be seated we began a series last week on the kingdom hallelujah how many of us were blessed last week praise god we began to establish please take out your pen your writing materials is a teaching so as much as possible whenever you're coming for a meeting like this come with your writing materials god is teaching and building us there's only so much your mind can at a time blessed be the name of the lord so i began a teaching last week and i began to explain to us the concept of the kingdom how that the word kingdom comes from two words it means the domain of the king hallelujah how many of us still remember that and we began to explain how that in the system of god the kingdom of god is everywhere the influence and the, the authority the rulership the dominion of the king is exercised is permitted to find expression hallelujah and we began to talk about the concept of a colony and a motherland how many of you remember that 
we began to explain how that a colony is a replica of a mother kingdom and that every time a colony is created it is created either by conquest you fight and gain access to that colony or you find a virgin land and occupy it hallelujah the a colony is is meant to be an extension of the mother kingdom and i did tell us that in a kingdom system everything around a kingdom system revolves around the king hallelujah in a democracy we have people living for themselves for instance in america you can decide to walk up naked i can decide to walk naked tomorrow and when people say josh are you okay I say, what is your business we are in a democracy but in a kingdom system everyone lives for the king hallelujah if at any point you were found doing anything that was contrary to the counsel of the king you were termed a rebel hallelujah and i began to explain to us that we are not just believers we are not just born again christians but we are citizens of a kingdom hallelujah and that means we owe our loyalty and allegiance not just to our savior not just to our lord but to our king many know him as savior many know him as lord but few know him as king daniel speaking said that his kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and isaiah reiterating said of the increase of his kingdom and his peace there shall be no end and god is preparing us to understand the concept and the structure of the kingdom because for many people christianity is just a blind race a race out of hell to heaven and we stop there and there are many believers who are, are not partnering with the holy spirit and every time you see our posters when we write koinonia we write intimacy and partnership that we understand his ways in intimacy and then we partner with him hallelujah praise the lord and then we began to explain how that man was given dominion adam was given a kingdom are you listening to me adam was not given a religion he was given a kingdom genesis 1 26 he said have dominion the word dominion is a language of royalty it says rule and adam lost and gave the keys to satan hallelujah and i did tell us that the entire bible can be summarized thus the king has a kingdom and out of his love desires to extend his rule and leadership and influence through citizens in the colony of his kingdom called earth hallelujah and for a period of time man walked in the council of the kingdom he sent his governor the governor of the kingdom is the spirit of god i told us the concept of the governor that the governor is sent by the mother kingdom to bring the citizens of the colony to alignment with the values the culture the principles of the mother kingdom that's the primary assignment of the governor he's a representative of the king hallelujah and then he begins to educate and reorient the citizens of that strange land and he begins to cause them to conform with the culture and the character of the king and there are certain benefits when they assume position as kingdom citizens every kingdom has systems has an economic system to meet the economic needs of the people has a political system every kingdom has a system for rest and and all of these things we are going to be discussing it hallelujah there are many believers who do not understand the assignment of a true christian on the earth for many of us we think our assignments are just to win souls and one day fly to heaven or run away from hell or get married and have children and grow old and then say i've contributed my quota to the planet there's more hallelujah say after me i am an ambassador a representative of the kingdom hallelujah and so from genesis chapter 3 until um matthew chapter 1 the coming of jesus it was the kingdom lost you can summarize everything the kingdom was lost hallelujah it was not god's original design for the nation of israel to have kings he desired their king it's out of their strong heart and they were a stiff-necked people hallelujah and so he told samuel to go and anoint saul and then david and all the kings that followed it was an attempt to preserve the structure of kingdom so that when jesus came into the scene it would not be a strange thing hallelujah so the nation of israel understood the concept of kingdom and then jesus showed up john 1 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god hallelujah 
and when jesus stepped upon the planet he began to speak about the kingdom hallelujah started talking about the kingdom the kingdom of heaven is like unto this the kingdom of god is like unto this he began to liken the kingdom to many things And all through his work on earth, he was bringing people into an understanding of the structure of his kingdom. When he showed love, it was a manifestation of the love of the Father. When he worked miracles, signs and wonders, it was a demonstration of the superiority of his kingdom. And then he began to introduce the disciples to the governor. In chapter 15 and 16, he began to speak to them about one he called the Paracletus, the Comforter. The standby the advocate the helper the strengthener the guide the holy spirit hallelujah and i did tell us that jesus for our sake he came to restore the kingdom hear me the primary purpose of jesus was not to come and take us to heaven don't stone me yet it's a teaching hallelujah the primary purpose of jesus was to restore the kingdom to restore the kingdom that's why revelation chapter 5 verse 10 says we have been made unto our god a kingdom of priests and we shall rule in this life in this earth hallelujah and jesus began to suffer as an exchange all that he was doing was in exchange to restore the kingdom he was beaten we explained briefly the passion of the christ how that he went through everything he went through to restore the kingdom hallelujah then he said i will give you the keys of the kingdom he said whatever you bind on earth is what would have been bound in heaven and whatsoever you lose on earth is what would have been lost in heaven he gave us the keys of the kingdom revelations chapter one says i am he that was dead and now is alive and i hold the keys hallelujah and so the entire scope of matthew to john was the redemption as we call it but then it was the restoration of the kingdom are you following me now from acts chapter 1 down onto jude is a manifestation of kings a manifestation of those who have now embraced the kingdom and now the bible begins to give us the the historical work of these people who have embraced the kingdom and the advancement of the kingdom and then paul begins to write in his epistles teaching us the precepts of the kingdom life talked about several issues issues that governed the holy spirit our ministry in church leadership marriage and all kinds of things within the context of the kingdom and then the bible ends in the book of revelation by giving us an entire scope of the king the entire book of revelation is a prophetic book that reveals christ from chapter 1 to chapter 22 hallelujah and then the bible beautifully ends in chapter 22 with the beginning of a new age lets us know that death hell and the grave were at that time casted into the lake of fire and then the king comes back to a new earth for those of you who are looking forward to run into heaven we're not staying very long here we're coming back to a beautiful city where he will be king of kings and lord of lords and we will reign and rule with him and that begins a new age the word eternity doesn't mean an endless span of time it means a summation of different ages are you following me now right now we're in what we call the church age after the church age there are certain ages a judgment and tribulation and all of that by the way let me encourage you that when the tribulation starts we will not be here on the earth that's a great message of comfort for many of you who have watched all kinds of scary films i'll tell you two reasons number one the bible says the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it the church represents the light of the kingdom here on earth darkness cannot manifest until light gives way hallelujah thank you jesus let's continue revelations chapter 11 lord let your word be strong in our hearts 
God is reorienting us so that we understand that Christianity is a kingdom system. It's not just a religion like many others. Are you listening to me? Many of us think, okay, it's just a religion and then one day, one day, something will happen, I will die. No, 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 no. And to equip us to be relevant. Revelations 11 verse 15, if you are there, say amen. And the seventh angel sounded and there were great voices in heaven saying the kingdom some versions add s the kingdom of this world is become the kingdom of our lord and of his christ and he shall reign forever and ever interesting scripture it says the seventh angel is it possible to get this on amplified the seventh angel okay I like the rendition in Amplified. The seventh angel sounded and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdom, the systems of this world. The word world there is the Greek word cosmos. The social system of the world. He said the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever tonight we'll be continuing in this series we have a lot to cover wherever we can stop let your heart be open hallelujah i'll be talking on kingdom advancement it's a continuation of the series kingdom advancement advancing the frontiers of the kingdom we stopped last week by helping us understand that jesus came to restore the kingdom say after me jesus christ came to restore the kingdom and he did restore the kingdom say one more time jesus christ came to restore the kingdom hallelujah and not just to restore the kingdom but to restore the citizens of that kingdom hallelujah that's why he died that's why he went through everything he went through jesus christ bled and he cried he wept was beaten by cruel and wicked people he went through all of these things to restore the kingdom life unto us hallelujah and the next step when you now understand that the kingdom has been restored the next step is to receive the kingdom hallelujah say after me the next step is to receive the kingdom how do you receive the kingdom by embracing the king of that kingdom hallelujah that's what we call being born again hallelujah being born again is simply coming to a point where you experientially accept the message of the king and you allow yourself to now subscribe to the government of that kingdom so when we talk about the new birth experience or what we call born again we're not just talking about some ambiguous thing we're talking about agreeing to come under the governing authority of that king so that you become a true citizen of that kingdom hallelujah that's why you come up and say lord jesus i believe you died for me i believe you rose again for me and he said i declare that you are lord of my life hallelujah lord of my life you are the king i choose to submit to your governing authority thereby becoming a bona fide citizen of your kingdom and every time you make that decision as a proof he sends the governor of the kingdom into your life it is such that the governor of the kingdom doesn't just live around us and walk with us but he can live in us hallelujah the holy spirit living in you is proof that you have been accepted as the citizen of that kingdom hallelujah hallelujah are you following me now very very important so you receive the kingdom you embrace the king and his lordship and authority over your life because he that oh by reason of the fallen nature all of us by default submitted in adam to the governing authority of satan hallelujah that's why the bible makes us to understand that we have been translated from the kingdom so it is a kingdom the kingdom of darkness into another kingdom he calls it the kingdom of god's dear son so when you get born again that's what happens in the realm of the spirit a translation from the kingdom of darkness 
into the kingdom of God's dear son. And the moment that happens to you, the governor of the kingdom is sent into your life. Hallelujah. As a non-believer, the Holy Spirit, who is the governor of this kingdom, has a primary ministry of convicting you of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. John chapter 16 tells us, he said, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will convict you of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. When you now become or enter, listen, let me tell you something, friends. Getting born again is not all. It's just the beginning. I follow me now there are so many believers who think that all there is to the christian life or the kingdom life i love to call it is just to get born again and so we get born again there are so many people that get born again and we leave them at the gates of the kingdom they don't know what else to do and they come and say okay so now what am i supposed to do and we say well keep keep praying fast once in a while read your bible and hope that one day the trumpet will blow and the people cannot understand after six months they are caught up with boredom and they cannot understand what kind of system this is hallelujah and they come and they say well i've been born again i say who has not been born again let's continue being born again just remain born again hallelujah but there's more to the kingdom life than just getting born again hallelujah your being born again is only the entrance to the kingdom say after me the entrance to the kingdom it's like when you, you you get born again you are giving your admission letter into the kingdom hallelujah and the moment you get born again there are two things you get familiar with number one is the constitution of the kingdom what we call the bible the bible is the constitution of the kingdom inspired by the governor himself on behalf of the king hallelujah brought to teach and to train the citizens of the kingdom to give them the mindset of the priorities the culture the value the nature hallelujah in this constitution you get to understand the character of your king you get to understand his desire his project his agenda that's what the bible is all about the bible is not just a book for deliverance it's a book that gives you an orientation about the king and his life and his character hallelujah so when you begin to study the bible you begin to understand the nature and the character of the king you understand that this is how he operates we begin to understand that our king is a king of love that the law of the kingdom we live in is the law of love are you following me now we begin to understand these things and then we also begin to enjoy the ministry of the governor the one we call the holy spirit the Bible says the whole, when he the spirit of truth is come he said he will guide you into all truth he will begin to expound to you the ways of the kingdom communicating unto you the values of the kingdom hallelujah he will first and foremost work on your mindset say after me mindset when he works upon your mindset you come to a point of alignment to the ways and the patterns of the kingdom at first you will go through a lot of conflict the Bible makes us understand in Galatians chapter 5 from verse 16. It tells us to walk in the spirit so that we will not desire, we will not gratify the desires of the flesh. It said, For the spirit lusted after the flesh, and the flesh after the spirit, and both of them are consistently in conflict because they represent the manifestation of two kingdoms. Are you following me now? And so, when God begins to introduce you to his system, it's usually challenging at first. Why? Because it will mean you laying down your ideology and your mindset. Are you following me now? The world system is built upon greed and fear and terror and all of these things. And hitherto our lives have been bounded by fear and greed and selfishness. But when you come into the kingdom system, the governor of the kingdom through the constitution begins to explain to you the modus operandi of the kingdom. Then you begin to see in the constitution of the kingdom that there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty and is antagonistic to the ways of the world. Hallelujah. And the king is such a loving king that he does not force you to do anything. He allows your will to come into play. So you can choose how far you truly will become the citizen of the kingdom and to represent him and it is given unto the governor 
to empower as many obedient citizens so that they can prove to the world that they are true citizens of the kingdom that's what we call the anointing the anointing is god's authorization upon your life validating that you are a true citizen of the kingdom hallelujah praise god and so we receive the kingdom by embracing the king when you get born again you receive the kingdom into your life into your heart you receive the governor of the kingdom the one who represents the parliament of heaven here on earth so earth is a colony of heaven and according to god's design and desire he wants that it will happen here in the earth as it is in the heavens and so it's the primary responsibility of the governor to search the mind of the father and find out what it is and to communicate it to the citizens of that kingdom are you getting blessed it's a total paradigm shift from what is being taught in church and let me tell you something everything you ever have and everything you ever become if it does not have its bearing around the kingdom it will kill you that's why we have a lot of rich people who are liabilities to the kingdom because they do not understand the message and the character of the king are you following me now and so you get to meet the governor of the kingdom the holy spirit and god designed it in such a way that the moment you are born again your spirit is capable of hearing and recognizing the voice of the governor said my sheep hear my voice he didn't say they are trying to my sheep hear my voice hallelujah for many believers when we get born again then for those that are pentecostals we move a step further we get filled with the holy ghost then you fall under the anointing ba -ba 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 -ba, you just turn and then you get born again and then many people just stop there so what is it about praying in tongues and just moving and then they say just keep praying there's a real devil in this kingdom just keep praying and the person says okay so i'm praying in tongues and he's just praying ba -ba 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 -ba. what is the prayer to what end hallelujah to what end is our bible study to what end is let, let me tell you something if we do not understand our goal and our purpose our spiritual investments will be a burden that's why for many people prayer is a burden for many people the study of god's word is a burden because we don't know to what end it's like a student reading without knowing what he's going to do hallelujah every time you read you understand there is an exam that goal encourages you to read whether or not you are ready to are you following me now when we understand the agenda of the kingdom and the concept of the king it gives us the impetus to want to get everything that the king has for us hallelujah i want you to understand that the king has an agenda say after me the king has an agenda and what is the agenda of the king and the kingdom as i announce this you check your life if you are not directly supporting this agenda you are called a rebel so after this announcement there will be two straight lines drawn in this meeting those who are actively supporting the advancement of the kingdom and those who are becoming liabilities to the king and you are going to hear it very very clearly are you ready to write the agenda of the kingdom very simple the king has an agenda what is his agenda the agenda of the king for this season is that the governing influence of his kingdom be replicated across the earth the governing influence instead of the increase of his kingdom and his peace there shall be no end the governing influence his character his nature his culture be reproduced across the entire globe hallelujah that's what we call kingdom advancement promoting the character the nature the culture the values of the king and the kingdom that we represent hallelujah and this first occurs in the hearts of men hallelujah the method is to first establish the kingdom in the hearts of men that's what we call soul winning are you following me now but that's only step one to establish the kingdom in the hearts of men to bring them to a point where they like us 
will subscribe to the government of this king by laying down their lives and saying take over my life and then number two to begin to infiltrate the systems of the world with the values the culture of the king that's what we are going to be discussing kingdom advancement so what is kingdom advancement the promoting of god's agenda the agenda of the king every one of us has a part to play in that ultimate promotion that's what we call purpose are you following me now your purpose on earth is your role the part you have to play to promote this universal agenda thank you jesus this is the current agenda of the king that we partner with the governor of the king having been taught the values the culture the lifestyle and you see god does god cannot send you the king cannot send you to represent him until he gives you a message until he schools you are you listening to me you must become a true citizen of the kingdom before you are allowed to go and reproduce that life that's why when god calls a man he builds that man then he sends the man that's what koinonia is all about hallelujah right now god is giving us the mindset of his kingdom helping us to understand his ways his operation bringing us into intimacy with the governor of this kingdom the holy spirit the holy spirit is not a pentecostal phenomenon many charismatics and pentecostals have abused him and reduced him to tongues he's the governor of the kingdom it's beyond tongues and prophecy and falling down and standing up are you following me now he's the one who gives us direction he's the captain the one who is overseeing the progress of this kingdom advancement so we have a responsibility to partner with the governor to bring many under the rule of the king that's what we call soul winning so soul winning for many people and unfortunately for many denominations has just been a strategy to add to membership hallelujah so for many denominations what we are interested in is not to have many citizens of the kingdom but to have many members of our churches so you see someone who is born again he tells you we are in the same kingdom. you say no way no way if you are not under my denomination you don't belong to the kingdom interesting that's the nonsense that is going all around god is not teaching us denomination and dogma he's teaching us kingdom are you following me now that the most important thing all of the denominations are only prophetic platforms hallelujah when we understand this we'll stop discriminating ourselves because i wonder what we are going to do in heaven that big table in the last supper there's only one table the bible doesn't say there are many so you better love your neighbor because if your seat mate belongs to let's continue hallelujah and then to replicate the life and the culture of the king say after me the life and the culture of the king let me have one yoruba person one Igbo person and then one northern and quickly quickly three people let's do that quickly quickly yoruba Igbo. please come come up three of you no 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 hallelujah Aaron is from kaduna state she's from the east and ejimi is from the what west now listen listen all of these geographical locations have certain things are you following me now they have a common language they have a common culture they have values is that correct when a yoruba person especially a, a well it, it happens with everybody really but especially the ladies want to greet what happens they prostrate is their culture are you following me so you can see them manifesting their culture and it tells you where they are coming from is that correct when you hear them talking and they say hey, share and all of that you know that you can't mistake in that and say it's full and hallelujah are you listening to me and then for the ebos they have i we had a sumptuous meal it reminds me of a sumptuous meal to the glory of god that we had on sunday in pastor williams house I appreciate them you don't know what i appreciate them <laughs> hallelujah 
I ate a very delicious soup called in Salah. See that? That's the benefit of kingdom. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, she comes from the east and they have their culture, their way of life and their language. Are you following me now? He comes from the north. Hallelujah. And we have our way of life. Praise God. And now, when you see these three, they are ambassadors of their culture. Is that correct? Everywhere they go, when you see someone at, you are in Washington, for instance, and you are going to the airport, and you see someone just proceed, ah, are you a shake? And then you, that, 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 and then you just greet, you know, you just bow on you and all of that. I say, are you a Yoruba? That's nice. It connects you. Are you following me now? Please, I'm trying to communicate a message. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So as citizens of the kingdom, we have a culture that the world should recognize instantly are you listening to me when you see a yoruba person you know instantly when you see an Igbo person even if a yoruba person wears kaftan his culture will betray the kaftan he's wearing very quickly you just know this is a yoruba person hallelujah are you following me now how come there are many christians and there are few kingdom citizens it tells you that there is an understanding of the culture of the kingdom that we do not have we have many believers across many churches and many christians but the world is still contending whether jesus is truly king that means that the citizens of the kingdom are just doing religion and doing christianity and have not come to a point where the world can see and let me tell you the world is not supposed to see different we are representing different kingdoms and people ask i say who are you christian who are you christian they say how come two of you seem to be conflicting are you are you following me that's why we are taking this teaching because that's how the church will beam as the light to the world the bible says that there are certain traits and signs that characterize citizens that belong to that kingdom there will be something when you in bible and, and in ancient time when you saw a jew you would know instantly by their manner of worship hallelujah their dressing their language and everything they were revealing that they were Jews. God bless you. Please sit down. Hallelujah. So our job is to first imbibe and embrace the culture. Now the word culture is not a demonic word. I know that um, in our Nigerian and African context, I know that there are many wrong things with many cultures. All right. There are very healthy sides of culture, respect, love for God. But there are many unhealthy aspects of culture idol worship and so on and so forth allegiance to other gods and certain unhealthy practices hallelujah but then the kingdom of god has a culture that's why we sing the song your kingdom reigns you get the song now your kingdom reigns then we say above all that means there are other types of kingdoms but we're saying lord we choose to bring your kingdom above hallelujah so we say lord your kingdom reigns your governing influence is superior to every other kingdom in my life so that when you see me before you call me a yoruba person you should first call me a kingdom citizen if your earthly culture is superior to your kingdom culture then you are not a true representative of the kingdom hallelujah kingdom advancement so you first receive the kingdom and then you are taught by the governor of the kingdom you are equipped he trains you hallelujah and there are four principal ways to replicate this kingdom hallelujah kingdom advancement is a perfect blend of four things number one the character of the kingdom character you see that we teach about character there's no time in the church age where we need to talk about character than now we have so many anointed people anointed from head to toe who lack the character of the kingdom and our lifestyle and our character betray what we attempt to portray our praying in tongues is corrupted by a character that is not consistent with the king that we have 
that's why we emphasize character one way that the world will see and know that we are true kingdom citizens is by the manifestation of the character of the king galatians uh, 5 verse 22 gives us a list of what we know as the fruit of the spirit bible calls it love joy peace patience gentleness faithfulness self-control he said against this there is no law and so any citizen of the kingdom who stays enough with the governor will find himself manifesting this character suddenly you find out that you step into a system where there is hate and what comes out of you is the love of where there is sadness i love a beautiful song that says lord make us instruments of your peace where there is hatred let your love increase hallelujah he said lord make us instruments are you following me now so when you step into a place where there is bitterness you manifest the joy of the spirit so when people see you going through the same thing with them while they are languishing and complaining they see you laughing and you're just saying lord you are faithful and they say i cannot understand what is this you just loved lost a loved one and instead of you to be insulting god and talking say lord I love you I love you now and they cannot understand I love you tomorrow I love you forever you just hear a bad report from the doctor and instead of panicking you say no there's a light in my soul in spite of all the darkness that surrounds me and this light that i see only comes alive every time i hear your voice and people begin to note your life for behaving strange they say that's what they saw in jesus christ the moment jesus walked they say who is this the way he's teaching his way of life they saw him with unbelievers and instead of castigating them he was showing them love they said what kind of person is this he began to reveal the superiority and the, a foreign culture only comes alive every time i hear your voice. number two the manifestation of the anointing is one way we advance the kingdom because although we are in the world we are not of the world the world cosmos we call it the social system hallelujah the social system satan being the god of this world the bible calls him in ephesians chapter 2 verse 2 the prince of the power of the air the spirit that walketh in the sons of disobedience that's the characteristic of those who are outside the kingdom disobedience and rebellion hallelujah in the world system they hail you for disobeying hallelujah as guys when you disobey people disobey parents disobey authority they say man and you're like hey you just touch your head because it's a system are you following me now it's called cosmos let me tell you where it started from it started from a man in the bible called cain the bible says and cain departed from the presence of god he came out from under the governing authority of that king and the bible says cain built a city a type of a kingdom after the name of his son enoch and all kinds of rebellious activities began to stem from that system and then nimrod in genesis chapter 11 took over and he said let us build a kingdom let's build a city whose power will reach to the heavens and let us make a name for ourselves and right now what is happening in the world is the rebuilding of the tower of babel i'm going to be showing you five pillars and areas of kingdom influence thank you jesus for your word the entrance of your word gives light understanding to the simple so the anointing because satan is alive there's sickness everywhere oppression everywhere 
hallelujah and in luke chapter 4 when jesus came he began to speak and he said how god anointed jesus of nazareth he found where it was written in the book of isaiah isaiah 61 he said the spirit of the lord is upon me for he has anointed he has smeared me with the holy ghost and with power he has empowered me to do the following to preach the glad tidings to the poor to bind up the brokenhearted to set the captives free so the manifestation of the anointing in your life helps you to begin to release the reality of the kingdom hallelujah that's why when you walk up to someone who is sick someone who has cancer and you say i bring you the superior power of the kingdom i represent these are two kingdoms standing and you demonstrate the superiority of your kingdom and say in the name of the king of my kingdom i'm standing as touching his authority i command this foreign cancer go the cancer going is proof that your king is truly king that's why miracles they are called miracles signs and wonders they point somewhere that's why we hold our miracle services that's why all of our meetings are power packed many of you who have gone on our facebook i'm sure you've you've seen the great testimony that we have the latest really that we have right now very powerful testimony hallelujah about two or three um fridays ago a woman not even a believer hallelujah came and she stood outside here had cancer hallelujah it was acute and uh, you know it was breast cancer and they were going to cut off her breast from shika verified hallelujah and she just stood here and saw people and say what's happening here and they said it's koinonia just hearing the word like you are hearing and we're just praying hallelujah and she just stood we're touching the authority of the king and right there she just said let god you know let god heal us too now instantly she was healed i was with her on sunday we don't announce miracles that we don't verify there are medical reports to this effect verified i spoke with her i don't mean recovery instant healing and wholeness of cancer <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah demonstrating the superiority of the king so the purpose of miracles is not to make a name for the man of God or to make a name for the ministry. All this nonsense that people do. That's why a true servant of God will use miracles as a pointer to reveal the kingdom. Are you seeing that? So if your miracle and your manifestation of the gift of the spirit and your operation of the anointing are not signs leading men to another who is greater than you, then you are betraying the king and you are termed a rebel. And we have many rebels overseeing many ministries standing in the place of christ not allowing many people to come into the kingdom and not moving themselves so they have become the jesus's for many people but every true servant of god is supposed to be an usher leading men to the king when paul went to a certain city and they saw him he performed great miracles they called them zeus and hammers the bible says paul tore his garment and said we are but ordinary people john speaking said that i may decrease so that he my king will increase and any true servant of god any true ambassador of this kingdom must live to promote the king and the king alone hallelujah are you getting blessed tonight number three prosperity the subject of prosperity has been a very very controversial one for two reasons number one people have tried and tried and tried to get wealth and it has not come they have tried to use worldly ways to get god's wealth hallelujah and they have been frustrated because it has not come and so they say just forget anybody you see blessed especially young people just know that these people are cutting corners but that's not true hallelujah zechariah chapter 1 verse 17 a says cry yet saying thus said the lord my cities true prosperity shall be spread abroad that's in your bible cry yet saying thus said the lord of hosts my cities true prosperity so prosperity is a weapon listen 
many people try to acquire wealth so that they become happy many people try to acquire wealth to prove to their parents and loved ones that they are not poor that's nonsense are you listening to me hear me when you understand the agenda of the king you will know that you really hate the king by becoming poor hallelujah for many of us our concept of prosperity is to accumulate money and have wealth and have people bow at our feet and lick our leg the bible calls such people rich fools the issue is not the rich the issue is that the person is a fool why a fool because they do not understand the purpose of prosperity the bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them there are many people being destroyed by their prosperity building a wall around themselves and making money their confidence he said woe unto he that puts his strength in a man hallelujah when you want to organize a crusade We've had the privilege of organizing some crusades over the years and this crusade spend we spend money are you listening to me prosperity is a tool with all humility if there's anything you appreciate in this place it was not gotten by tongues are you listening to me the people outside are comfortable by the grace of god watching the projector you are comfortable watching in the projector you're sitting and there's light there's the fan blowing you i hope you know that all of these things have financial implications let me tell you something if you truly love god you will embrace his economic system to be empowered for the sake of his kingdom you cannot help the poor by becoming one of them so it's not the issue of me i don't like all these canal things carnality materialism is not having materials materialism is the influence of those materials upon your life when christ is above anything in your life it does not destroy you that's why people are dying dying in haiti the throne of god is still made of gold he will never reduce it to silver And so you must believe in the wealth of the kingdom it's a tool to advance the kingdom let me tell you something do you know how many believers have bowed down to bell because of money statistics tells us that about 90 percent of divorce cases that we have even in nigeria today are directly or indirectly related to finances many of our ladies that sleep around for money do they sleep with us how much do we have as young people is it not those who have money that come and take them and we have many church people just dancing in the morning early in the morning in the morning i will rise and praise the lord and satan who is the god of that system when they finish praying they come out and they don't have food to eat and satan stands and said i will give you all this if you would just bow and the people say we preach in church and say don't bow and they say so what do i do he say i don't know but sha don't bow and the man is saying i must pay the school fees of my children the bible says any man that cannot cater for his family is worse than an infidel and we say don't be corrupt don't loot they say okay teach me god's way we say forget it don't loot and when the man is under pressure he will sign that document when the lady is under pressure she will sign and say to hell with anything and then we keep looking and say the ladies are corrupt the young people are poor the bible says the poor the rich it didn't say the rich Christ, the rich will rule over the poor Are you listening to me so you better undo this poisonous mindset that satan has put in believers as long as we remain in poverty there are many churches crying and knocking at the gate of government preaching lies and prophesying lies seeking favor nonsense because we do not understand that we are ambassadors of a superior kingdom for many people the wealthy people in their church have taken the place of the holy spirit and it's what they want that is being done what are we saying hallelujah and so because i gave a seed of 30 million naira, i come and tell the pastor there are some people that hate me preach on hatred the pastor says yes lord <laughs> and he comes on stage he said i was sleeping by 5 a.m and the lord told me son stand up i have a word for you and i had hatred in my spirit shout hatred Can I tell you something, friends? 
I have said it. People have termed it to be arrogance. I'm sorry if you think it's arrogance. Let me tell you something. The wealth and the prosperity of this ministry is not tied to any man. It's tied to the direct hand of God. That's why we preach the way we preach without apology. We bring the uncompromising word of truth because I tell you under God, we have not bowed to bear and we will not bow. There is a way you eat the king's food and you cannot talk against the king. You can't eat the king's food and talk against the king. But we are that remnant, that uncompromising generation that will stand and challenge the gods of this system. That's why we are teaching what we are teaching. So prosperity is very important. Number four, it's a language many people out of their quest for humility have rejected. It's called influence. I want to show you how God designed his kingdom to be advanced. Influence. Look up. Let me do a little experiment. Sweet has come. All of you appreciate this lady. I mean a, a real ovation. For whatever reason, just clap. Keep clapping. Just turn. Keep clapping. Everybody. I mean clap and shout. Look at them. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at what is happening to her. She's happy and enjoying it. Although she cannot understand. This same character or this same attribute is inherent in every one of us including the religious people i've not seen anybody that frowns when they clap for him we all desire influence for parents when they call your child and the first position is you see the man sometimes trying to package himself and then he tries to find different ways of accommodating come on am i talking help me How much more the king that you represent the bible says the hour has come john 17 verse 1 it said now the hour has come he said glorify thy son that thy son may bring glory to you that's how god gets glory when the sons are glorified glorify now thy son that thy son may bring glory to you are you listening to me To reveal his glory and his majesty is found in Psalms 145 and the Hebrew word used here is called doxazo a display of his glory to let the world know and let me tell you something when you come to a position of influence let me tell you the advantage of influence the hearts of many are connected to you and at that point it's easy to change their hearts look at me do you know that if Michael Jackson just lift his hand and say I get I'm born again one over one million people can be born again instantly that's the power of influence there are many young people sagging their jeans down cutting their heads into pieces trying to look like people who have influence and the church was supposed to rise up there and create a true picture of what the kingdom represents have been allowed to chicken out let me tell you something if you do not love excellence in your life you are frustrating the agenda of the king because when you are excellent and you are competent you will gain what we call influence when you gain influence you will come to a point where you are a voice and at that point anything you say when Cecilia Ibu was having a Thanksgiving the number of unbelievers that came for that Thanksgiving why because they need her they don't love God like that but they need her so they had to come hallelujah and I or Richard Jaffa preached his life out he said now that I have this caliber of people let me use the opportunity and preach every devil out of them let me tell you something there are certain classes of people that your tongues will never make them come to you is your influence the bible says see yet thou a man diligent in his business he said he will not stand before mean men he will stand before kings i was watching the forbes forbes um first 100 world's richest people there's no believer in any of them about 95 percent of all of them are members of freemason illuminatis 
they are the ones who control the education of our children they are the ones who control everything many of you do you know many believers just say whatever will be will be this world is not our own we don't love the world the bible say for god so loved the world that you are hating hallelujah are you getting blessed this is a thought-provoking teaching it's not just some church activity it's supposed to compel us to rise up hallelujah by the grace of god because of this platform that god has given us it has given us a measure of influence is that correct and that's why many of us can come i would not be able to go to all your houses one by one and call you but through the medium of influence what happens you can come around and the message of the kingdom can be communicated there are six prophetic areas where the world satan has captured god bless you sweetheart thank you very much hallelujah many people watch mtv and watch channel oh and we frown they asked one of the mtv directors one time and said how come you have influenced children of ages i think from ages eight to 16 and he laughed he said we have not influenced them we own them we own that entire generation that's what he said and it's not a lie they have designed systems let me tell you how the kingdom advances through these things mindset say after me mindset the world is a system that gives you a mindset i follow me now so an average child the moment he grows up i mean the moment he is born he's exposed to a system that begins to give him a mindset let me show you six areas that the church has neglected in our churchianity and satan is using it and advancing his kingdom christianity is the only religion that holds crusades after crusade after crusade but there are many ministries and movements that hold no crusade yet they are advancing at the speed of light because they understand the structure of the kingdom number one sports sports is an area where the tower of babel is being built hallelujah right now sport has become a religion i hope you understand that there are many people who have made merchandise out of sports and there are almost no ambassadors in that sector of the kingdom why because we have taught people the moment people begin to sense the anointing they tell them kai that means one day you stand on the pulpit can i surprise you hear me those you call ministers are those the bible calls the gifts that are supposed to train the ministers the ministers are those sent to these systems to represent and reproduce the life and the character of christ hallelujah sports number two in the area of arts music fashion this is an area that the church has neglected you just need to own your radio and you hear all kinds of things from morning to night and those people have paid their price they are competent so we say so long as they don't mention satan i will listen you know i like it you come to church here it's only in church that you see people sing no rehearsals they don't do anything they just walk hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah every kind of excellence and mediocrity is found in the church whenever you hear quality sound good music everything know that it is satan who is being promoted and we sit down and watch and many times we collect offering and say lord let it be for the advancement of your king what are you saying the advancement of his kingdom is not theory are you getting blessed please because we are going to pray i'll soon stop here and then it's a series so we'll continue every time you see excellence you need to go where unbelievers are doing something that glorifies satan and you will see levels of excellence and competence they are sound they are organized they are excellent and they directly promote satan but how about it ends? mediocrity is the most important thing the voice doesn't matter it's just the revelation I say, and the keyboardist for 10 minutes is trying to find the key punching and then he's smiling you don't provoke yourself the bible says by the truth 
Now somebody say you are called into fashion. Who do you know in fashion? Tell me, I don't know anybody. Oh, okay, one person, Versace. These are the systems you want to conquer and you do not even know them. Those in the world, the sports people, the media people, those at the forefront of music and fashion, day and night they are building themselves. They sign contracts with Satan and they keep investing in themselves. You ask them, where are you going? They keep innovating things because they live for the glory of Satan. But we have many believers who cross our legs and we think God will do everything. And you say, I know one day, the top is my portion. You really think so? The top is your portion? How? We don't invest in ourselves. We just come and mumble tongues for one hour. And then we say my destiny. And then you go to a place and they send you out. They say no job for you and you are angry. Why will I give you a job when you are not competent? Why should I give you a job when you will make my company lose? Are you, get, are you Am I provoking somebody? Let me tell you, whether they draw cross with anointing oil on your head, there are certain things that only competence in partnership with the Holy Spirit will give you. Believe what I'm saying. I pray in tongues. But we are the Nehemiah generation that understand that with one hand we hold the sword, but with another hand we keep beauty. So many lazy believers who are not doing anything in their life, you say, I want to be a writer. You don't know any writer. You don't read anything about writers. You don't have any article about a writer. And he say, one day I'll be at the top. Every time you see an unbelieving writer, he say, one day I'll challenge you. You really think so? Am I provoking somebody? Number three, politics and government. It's an area that requires the influence of the kingdom. Many of the policies that punish us in this country today were enacted by people who do not understand the structure and the concept of the kingdom. Hallelujah. And you can laugh about it and think it doesn't matter until they begin to bring into the house of assembly that they should permit gay and permit lesbians. And they will say, hey, he's having a... He's having, where the, he wasn't enacted by angels. He was enacted by human beings. You can imagine if we have people who understand the value and the structure of the kingdom not religion men who understand the operation of the kingdom hallelujah another area business in the area of business there are many church folks we've left the business to the people who say ah business business is such an ugly thing it's a corrupt thing forget jare swindle you you see believers there's nobody that does clean business so forget about their tongues can't you be the first who will not bow and they are the ones in control of the finances and they move people wherever they want hallelujah you can sit down and see a company that has kingdom believers and your director can just look at you and say i don't like you you are fired and in an instant this guy was praying and fasting for a a, a, a boss project he suddenly changes his prayer point oh god will my life not move forward and those who have the wealth do not fear god they cross their legs and play believers like a chess because we do not understand that these are the structures of the kingdom and the moment they see certain people rise to that area they stand and preach and say forget all of the people that are doing this you will perish with the world are we ready for change if we are let me tell you the next revival that is coming is not going to happen in the pulpit the next set of apostles and prophets are going to be sent to these systems that's the structure of the coming revival so for many of you who are envisioning coming to stand one day here one day you will come and you will not find anybody because the believers are busy repro reproducing god's life another area family satan is killing families we do not understand that that's a system can i tell you something for those of you who are married and are in ministry or those who soon get married can i tell you something your family comes above and before your ministry hello before you were born christ has been preached after you die he will still be preached when you see an armed robber on the street he had a father and a mother correct we do not realize that according to god's 
principle and structure the family is supposed to be the first encounter of that child with god's life and the kingdom life hallelujah sorry let me have one sweetheart come let me use you as an example come I appreciate this beautiful lady wonderful children of pastor williams come sweetheart quick 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 hallelujah now i've had the opportunity of visiting pastor williams house again and again and i've seen the kind of love and training you can imagine these little children at their age at their age where what were you doing some of us were far from the gate of the kingdom but you can imagine when we say pray if we are praying for one hour these children are praying for one hour when we say speak imagine what this lady will do when she gets to 13 years old are you are you seeing how that family life is important there are many ministers that leave their families dying and they are running to go and save the lost they are going to take nations and their children are pioneering another move they are not aware of hallelujah is that let me tell you if you are not ready to train your children in the fear of the lord don't get married don't give birth are you listening to me very important and that's one area satan is perverting the family life like never before people are losing priorities and they look at children and when they say bring this child to church they look, look and say ah, ah little children like this but these little children can go and watch pornography at their age on the internet and no one stops them the parents pass and see the children they say ah okay children say with their little thing then one day the child tells you mommy i've been the queen of the coast since three years the queen of the coast <laughs> queen of what i thought you were young <laughs> hallelujah can i tell you something let me challenge parents here and prospective parents the word train up a child does not mean discuss with them it makes it means make them do it if i'm going to church my child is going to follow me no matter what the argument is we'll talk later <laughs> hallelujah because rebellion the bible says foolishness is bound in the heart of the child the rod of correction does not mean kill your child i say i will kill you bring me birth bring me birth and you beat the child i will match you i'm the one who will kill you by myself before you kill me i'll kill you that's not kingdom training the bible doesn't say train up a child in the way you want him to go there is a pattern that you are not the one who designed it as a parent you receive it manoah said give us the blueprint of how we will train this child hallelujah bless this lady i love you god bless you sweetheart hallelujah there are many parents that for your children the first time they hear i love you is one guy who comes with his baggy jeans and his chain with a gun on it and then he comes and says hey, how are you i love you and although the lady is really embarrassed by his outlook she cannot deny that it's a word she has always wanted to hear and then she says, i hate you i hate you and then in the night she flashes him and then he flashes her back Then when they're about to sleep between 12 and 1, flash again or high. And the guy calls, yeah, I knew you would call. And later on, you find out why a nice church-going girl suddenly begins to follow someone and is corrupted. Because a family where there is no love, a family where there is no togetherness, a family where the parents are not humble to say, I'm sorry when they need to say, I'm sorry. That kind of a family is not a true picture. The first example of God should be seen in a father. The first example of the holy spirit should be seen in a mother the first example of unity should be found in the couples hallelujah to train the children in the fear and the admonition of god i have a dream that after 20 years of marriage you come to my house and see us dancing and rejoicing no rat race no fighting up and down i'll forever be chasing after you that's what you hear us singing because all the laws that make for peace and prosperity and joy we are adhering to it are you getting blessed 
I'm provoking something. The last area, media. Right now, you can just log on and browse pornography for free. It has already been paid. Satan paid people to prove that Jesus is not Lord. He is still paying people. Hallelujah. You just open any a nice Christian site with a little clip. Five minutes, they say pay fifty dollars. Then say I'm not ready. And then somebody say, Come and see. I had an encounter with Satan. It's free on YouTube. Watch. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed? The media. It's just right now that there's a media revolution. God is raising media giants. For some of you, as I mentioned this area, something in your spirit says, Are you hearing? Are you hearing? God is telling you, Are you hearing? The moment the spirit of prayer began to come on you, sweetheart, you just say, Pastor, who told you it's pastor? Maybe it's media or fashion. Many of us just think ministry is about standing and you envision where you have a congregation of 5,000 members and then as you are coming, they just bring water for you and say, Daddy, sir. If that is your concept of kingdom advancement, there's need for real repentance tonight. These areas are the areas that the church have left to the world. And can I tell you something? Our praying in tongues will never make meaning to the world until we begin to infiltrate these systems that's why we are holding this teaching hallelujah but i know we are that generation that the next set of sports people i look forward to times when before they start playing while a stadium is gathered or after doing all of those things and and scoring goals they give you an opportunity to talk to six million people and you tell them i speak under the authority of the lord whose i am and who i serve that statement alone breaks someone who has been mentoring your life and say this is my mentor i'll do anything he's doing and now that he has mentioned jesus what is it about jesus and they begin to search and god will lead them to a site and they will check jesus is lord.com because the media giants are already doing their work there and then you read and know let me tell you, if we depend on only our 50,000 and 500,000 man crusade to get people born again, in the next 100 years, we will not affect the world. In five minutes, the mindset of a generation is changed by an evil program on the TV. Five minutes, a woman like Oprah Winfrey stands on TV and declares to people that Jesus is not Lord. And in five minutes, I was checking her Facebook and she has 6 million followers. 6 million followers on Facebook. Hallelujah. Coca-Cola has 23 million. And I check many churches. 10, 5, 11, 22, 110. 300, 700, and then a few hundred thousand. Those are the mega ministries. So, can you see that Christianity is not a call to laziness. It's a call to service. Are you following me? So, after you get born again and you get filled with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost trains you and then He sends you. And then He begins to call you. He says, Oh no, I'm releasing you to the IT industry. Go and challenge the people. Steve Jobs, of blessed memory, he has gone wherever he is. Hallelujah. And all kinds of people and he says i'm sending you wherever there is darkness god sends you as the light and he says go as the light and he comes and says mr Jones, you draw and you do design i'm sending you to this industry he comes and says aaron you are an event planner and you do logistics i'm sending you to that system he says sweetheart i'm sending you to this system this is um, representing the head of department doing his I'm, I'm sending you reveal my creativity i'm sending you and then we come to church and pray in tongues and build ourselves and the gifts of the church help us and bless us and equip us after church we come out that's why i don't believe in a church that holds service seven times a week that's nonsense don't stone me 
if for seven days in a week you are in church all the days of your life you will never affect the system because the mission field is not in the church the mission field is outside the church he said you are the light of the world not the church so we come and we are built we are equipped on monday you are at work in the bank and someone comes and while you are signing the check you see by the spirit and he says sir you've been having a challenge in your family and he looks and then you tell him i bring you the word of the lord i know that you're having a financial problem begin to tithe and be serious tithing is a principle of the kingdom and then you just turn his receipt and write your number or you write a number of a ministry he can go and say god bless you the king has found expression <laughs> hallelujah and then you are an architect and people come and give you a difficult project and you sit down and you lock yourself and say Kabo Sataba Kayaba. i'm not an ordinary person lord i'm an ambassador make way for me and then god makes the way and in the night while you are sleeping the the daniel said while i slept the visions of heaven are communicated unto you and you wake up and you come up with something that will cause the government to call you the government to say how did you do it that's what happened to the three hebrew boys that's what happened to daniel the one we call belshazzar he manifested a dimension and in babylon they saw and they knew that christ was the king it wasn't because he was praying in tongues it was because he could translate this thing god sends you into the business world and you begin to innovate things that alleviate poverty in people's lives and you come to a point where your life is directly blessing people at that point your christianity is meaningful hallelujah and then you come to a point where you are sitting in your house and you just decide and say this week we are going to cook and call our neighbors christians or non-christians without discrimination and you put your beautiful garden because you have received god's prosperity message and so you you have killed greed too in your life and so you understand that you are not just trying to do a favor to build yourself an empire and you bring the people hallelujah let me share with you a few testimonies to the glory of god you see the people that come and and offer us free uh, uh, the bus transport let me say it to the glory of god when their leader is not a christian he was sick and his wife put to bed immediately she put to bed the protocol department were in shika we brought him gifts and we greeted them that's why we are friends with them today are you following me now they have been able to see that's why every time they come although we are praying in tongues they enjoy what we are doing they are getting blessed by koinonia because we have given them room to be employed are you following me that's that's what we call strategic apostolic reformation not just making noise in church but coming to a point where the world that as you pray in tongues because of you god gives you an idea and many people are gainfully employed even if you are not benefiting so much from it is putting food on the table of others you become a principality that the government must come to terms with there are certain people in this country who have understood this apostolic reformation bless god for their lives building universities that put in the value and the culture of the kingdom hallelujah a man called billy graham all the presidents in america from his time until barack obama they go and pay homage to him why because he has gained a dimension of influence are you listening to me he really didn't raise wheelchairs are you following me now he didn't do all the charismatic things but he understood kingdom and he gained a dimension of influence and because of him many many have come to the saving knowledge of christ rick warren who wrote purpose driven life had been invited many times to the government house to speak for many christians when we invite they invite us to the government house we're just thinking of how we chop and someone who is anointed who loves god suddenly gets to the government house and he's like i beg jerry i'm coming and then you say Shaba -ba 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 i see that you and we begin to behave and do all kinds of things because we do not understand let me tell you as a believer everywhere you are realize that the kingdom is in search of expression through you and so you find out what can i do that will bring the kingdom to bear so you go to your community and one day you gather all the young children and cook rice for them and you make poster jesus loves you and you hold something 
you must not have the name of ministry it mustn't be joshua selman international ministries we like names and we like titles we don't think kingdom unbelievers think kingdom everywhere they go their primary concern is how can the kingdom find expression he said when you pray say this thy kingdom come thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven i've made up my mind that everywhere i go the kingdom will find expression edge me makes shirts look at the beautiful shirts by the media people this is an artistry and the creativity of one he is a minister but he has allowed other areas of his life to find expression and give god glory hallelujah we believe in it i'm being practical and i'm sharing this dio is going for a, a a media training right now with some of the top media people in this country hallelujah he's going for a training he's the head of the media but it's not just about praying in tongues we realize that we have an agenda we are going we are invading the media and so he's leaving tomorrow and going for a training for a period of two weeks certified every one of these media people you see them doing what they are doing they were trained because the church is not just a place to sit down and learn a place a church is the place of building and any true apostolic move equips people and prepares them to be revivalists so on one hand we pray in tongues on the other hand we prepare ourselves Ibo is there Ibi can you stand up quickly 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 stand up that's a fashion designer that's a kingdom driven fashion designer on his way to happen now he's coming and he's receiving and he's on his way to happen we are not just praying in tongues are you following me now we are on our way to happen so hear me if all you are thinking about is just church and how i'll have my ministry me and my wife my child will be in charge of media change your mind and begin to think kingdom are you listening to me kingdom think kingdom many of us need to wake up this night and as you say your kingdom reigns above all you say lord i know you are sending me i hear your voice i hear your voice i'm not born again for nothing i realize that there is an influence of the kingdom that has been mandated upon my life i told myself i said lord i will be competent in every area that you have sent me to represent your kingdom and that means taking that money you are using to buy timberland to buy the books and the materials that will equip you for being an ambassador all this nonsense instant gratification get rich quick we young people are in it it's time to sit down and realize that there is a mandate of a generation upon your shoulder and no matter what sacrifice it will take that you say i will do this for my king and you sit down how many of you guys who want to be fathers how many of you have gone to read any book about principles of fatherhood how many of you have gone to read any book about how to discipline children how many of you have sat to search the word of god and find out how to train children it's not about looking at a lady and liking her how many ladies are ready to sit down to find out your role as a wife a minister and as a mother kingdom advancement i was reading something about billy graham and his wife told him something she said you are an evangelist go i will support you i will stand by you what all this mr big's nonsense that people do someone says hi you say i'm hungry you have not even replied because that's what we watch in nigerian films and all of this we have been trained to believe that marriage is rest relationship not knowing that you sow you wait and then you reap together strategic kingdom advancement hallelujah some of you god is calling in the area of business you sleep and you have dreams god is giving you things and satan is telling you i will give you this if you will just bow hear me friends we are the generals of god are you hearing me inside and outside there is a clarion call from the spirit it's time for the citizens of the kingdom to arise the greatest publicity of a kingdom citizen is to remain in the secret place and keep building keep building keep building 
with one hand you study the word and you learn the principles with another hand you begin to translate the realities of the spirit hallelujah we're talking with steve and he was telling me some of his plans for the future he would sit down and pray and god would give him songs and then he will write them by the time he sings these songs and they are blessing look at some of these songs that are coming from heaven one day god will grant us access and some of you who have been called to this area of music we will release these songs to you and you will raise it i look forward to times when when we tune our radio we we'll just say your kingdom reigns bless god for heal song bless god i love them with my life they are real ambassadors of the kingdom real ambassadors of the kingdom they have no apology for exalting the name of God. if i have a company today you will hold bible study at least once a week in my company you are not interested it's not by force when poverty cains you because there will be darkness out there and we will pay in such a way that you you cannot reject us we are going to buy mtv we are going to buy channel o oh we will we will we will change it to miracle tv <laughs> we are not praying in tongues for nothing friends we may not look like it but let me tell you it's in you the bible says now are we the sons of god we are rising our parents like the eli generation have done their best and they are transferring the button to the samuels and we will carry it and represent the kingdom a time will come they will come and meet you and someone will want to bribe you and you hold back his hand and not just say no i don't do it you say no I represent a kingdom don't just say i don't do it. someone comes to meet you and says can you come to my hotel I say no i don't do it what you are just trying to say is that uh, uh, i don't do it with you you must let the person know that i represent a kingdom and i'm bounded by a modus operandi and part of it is that we are not engaged in this i have a king and i pay an allegiance to him hallelujah Ejimi does designs when you tell him to do a design for you that is pornographic or has anything that is anti-god he will not do it because you like him you will change your mind ha. i look forward to a time when the world although they don't like us they cannot deny the impact we are bringing that's the time at that time we will gather on sundays and pray and every time we are praying although they do not understand what we are saying they cannot deny the effect is telling on their salaries is telling on the economy you come and meet someone working in your office and like joseph the person is depressed and he said what happened he said, i was just told i have cancer and he said come with me as the manager of the company say in the name of the lord jesus cancer go and the person is healed and he said i thought it's only in church and he says to let you know that the kingdom of god is advancing hmm. hallelujah so arise media giants arise arise it's not just about praying in tongues and sitting down the call of the kingdom is a call to responsibility we are going to pray we're out of time we'll continue the next time i'll be revealing to us the structure of the kingdom i really want us to understand the concept of the kingdom now you see that is beyond just getting born again rise up on your feet Habobo, Habobo, your kingdom reigns, your kingdom reigns, Habobo, Habobo,
responsibility to directly promote the government of heaven in your class in your job you have a responsibility of the increase of his government and his peace there shall be no end how much of the king are you representing how much of his glory are you directly representing come on pray pray so to pray hear me hear me you're going to pray one prayer and say lord i receive grace to be competent hear me many of us right now from this meeting go and buy books go and buy dvds that address the area you know god has called you sit down and walk there's room for laziness generals are not lazy people lift up your voice and pray I will be competent in the media. I will be competent in politics. Go ahead and pray. It's an apostolic reformation. And also the nominal Christianity. I will pay the price. I will pay the price. I will pay the price. No matter what it costs. Come on, pray. I pay the price to be competent. To be competent. He pays the influence of the kingdom. Inside and outside. Make sure you're praying. That's why you came for Koinonia tonight. To be equipped. To be empowered. Come on, pray. And say, Lord, you are sending me to the media. I will be competent. You are sending me to politics and government. I will be competent. You are sending me to the family ministry. I will be competent. You are sending me to fashion and style. Make sure you are praying. Whether you are a caterer, whether you are an event planner, whether you are a pastor, whether you are a banker, whether you are a politician, we all have the same mandate, the same responsibility. Whether you are a teacher, whether you are a student, advance his kingdom, advance his kingdom, advance his government. His kingdom, his influence, is an everlasting kingdom. Make sure you are praying. In ministry, I receive grace to be competent. In business, I receive grace to be competent. In every area, you have called me. I receive grace to be competent for the sake of his majesty, for the sake of the kingdom. My generation will hear my voice. My confidence will give me a voice. And I will shout it. With everything, we will shout for your glory. With your catering, with your banking, as a lecturer, as a computer mogul, as a business mogul, as an investment tycoon, as a pastor. 
for everything. We have one agenda. Advance the cause of his kingdom. Make sure you are singing this song as a prophetic revelation. Competence in God given. Competence in trading. Competence in intent planning. As an architect, you are competent. As an engineer, you are competent. Jesus died for. This is what Jesus died for. We not just win souls, but we advance their kingdom. So when you get people born again, don't leave them there. That's why God prepares Koinonia as a platform to equip people. Changing our minds. There's no room for disobedience. There's no room for rebellion. We may be young people, but we are not lawless. We have a king above us. And we are going somewhere. That the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdoms of our God. That the media of this world will become the media of our God. That the politics of this world will become the politics of our God. Hear me? And that's why you came here tonight and for as many who are connecting on the internet and many others who will hear this tape and this the dvds there is a clarion call it's beyond church it's beyond eni it's beyond koinonia it's a, an apostolic reformation god is bringing upon the nations lord we give you praise we are out of time you're worshiping with us for the first time I'd like you to leave your seat and quickly come. Please, we're out of time. Let's hurry up. In this atmosphere, leave your seat inside and outside. Appreciate them. The Lord brought you here to bless you. Inside and outside. Young and old. If this is your first time, appreciate them. Come on, give them a big koinonia. God bless you. Clap for them like kingdom citizens. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You are the king. We see one of our fathers and our mothers. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. They are coming. Keep singing. They are coming. Yes, Lord. Just for one. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes,
Thank you very much for coming. Daddy, we especially want to thank you, sir. Mommy, want to thank you. Thank you. 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 Mommy.